Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Hearts of Iron 4 video. Today we're going to be playing as Franz, or as my son would say it. See, I haven't played Franz for about a year, more or less, and there's still some of the focus tree I have not yet experienced. I did a Napoleonic run, but before that was properly in the focus tree. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do this one, but we have done going left, so this time we're either go right or do a monarchy. Leaning towards monarchy but we'll see how the game develops. France, regular difficulty, admin mode, historical focuses, let's go. So right off the bat let's go to the focus tree. We have some nice economic things here. Well, they're not very good but there is some stuff that increases our compliance, which is pretty neat. We'll see about that later. Rearmament, not that important. The most important as usual is the ideology. And this time we're reviving the national bloc. Right, let's have a look at research. What doctrine do we start with? Is it the grand battle plan? Yes it is. I don't like that one. Let's switch to spirit firepower. Although, with the debuff we have, it's gonna take forever. Maybe I'll just wait with that one. Research boosts. And industry. France is one of the very few situations in which starting with the doctrine might not be the best choice. Right, let's get rid of those tanks. Don't need them. I mean, tanks are powerful, but they require micromanagement. And I don't like micromanagement. Won't need motorized. Will need guns. And artillery and support, but probably not immediately. Let's see the templates we have. Yeah, support and artillery. Or just artillery. Yeah, I suppose support and artillery will be useful. So Civilian factories. Do we need more civilian factories? We have... Actually, our industry is not very good right now, but it will get better. Let's start with civilian ones. At least our infrastructure is wonderful. And we start with a lot of divisions, so actually army stuff will not be a big problem for us. Since we basically start with three full armies, that is pretty much enough to conquer some people. But we want to switch those reserve divisions to regular divisions. And we do have some tanks, but I will not be producing tanks, so we'll be switching some of them off into not tanks. Same for motorized. I mean, motorized is useful, maybe I'll keep them motorized. Yeah, kept some tanks, kept them motorized. Army is more or less ready. Let's make sure we don't uh, keep any of them in the colonies. Everyone return home, and Jean is gonna be my field marshal. We'll have to promote him a bit later. Okay, let's speed the game up and unpause. Should I fight the Germans? Maybe I should. It's always risky and problematic and difficult and annoying, but maybe we should do it. We do have more troops than the Germans, so I suppose technically we could crush them. I guess I'll get ready. Maybe it'll be fun. Although, no, I think if I do that I get a civil war. I don't want to deal with a civil war. But I'm not sure about the civil war thing, so I'll send two armies to the border, just in case it's beneficial to fight the Germans. Some generals, Alphonse, Charles, Captain Darling, and Henri. I suppose I could do power drops. Maybe it'll be worth it. How's my Air Force? I don't remember how many planes the front starts with. Quite a lot of them. But I don't think I'll be going to war with the Germans just yet. Let's leave it be. Exercise. At least we have a lot of manpower. Renland. Now, what can we do here? Okay, if we do this, the communists start a civil war. Um, no, that's too much of a hassle. That would force our hand in the politics that we want to choose. Um, let's just be diplomatic with the Germans for now. Now, next up, we're going to utilize uh, the leagues, which leads to fascist and non-aligned paths for our country. Now, I could theoretically delay a little bit so that we get enough political power to hire a silent workhorse, but I think getting our ideology sorted first is the more important. Perhaps I should get some more military factories. I do have a navy. Let's get it all home. Merge all the navies you have. Write a better research. Uh, don't repeat those ships. I don't need more navy. Once you're done with that navy, just do convoys. Admiral, distribute, balance and stuff, and just stay in port. We'll use you to invade Britain, probably. It's nice, invading Britain. Ethiopia. At this point, we are desperate for political power. We have the disjointed government modifier, which is absolutely terrible. But eventually, we'll get rid of it. Communist in the government. More communism or less stability. We don't really mind the communists. We'll get rid of them later. Now, in order to go fascist, we would need to do a lot increasing our fascist support, which is not quick or easy to achieve. So I think for that, and also for better flavor, we're going monarchist. We're going to lose some stability with this, but that's not really a problem. All right, research. Concentrated industry. Time to promote our guy to a field marshal. Jean, congratulations. We've utilized the league, now we're doing the Council of Rambouillet, I think. And then two more focuses, and we'll get rid of this jointed government thing. What remains after that is only to choose who will rule our empire. Yeah, we could go fascist, but for this we need to get more unaligned and fascist support. Um, so I probably should not have accepted the communist thingy if I were to go with that option. Oh, we can rally the leagues to do that. Can this be repeated easily or not? Let me just review the trees. Maybe it is worth it. 
I'm going monarchist with this one. If you want to see the fascist path, just let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do that video too. Council of Rambouillet. I will not have enough artillery or support equipment. I barely have enough guns. Do I need those military factories? Let's focus on them. At least we get some more no line from this. I might actually need paratroopers. I will research them just in case. I assume I do have the naval invasion technology, which is imperative. Yes, I do. Good. Focus complete. Next one. Revise the constitution. This is gonna give us quite a lot of stability, but it's not important in itself. It's important because it leads to this. Repeal the law of exile. This way we'll be able to have the monarchy return. And once this is complete, we'll be rid of our political power troubles. I suppose we could ban communism. Is political violence a real problem? Not yet. I'll leave it be for now. Famous last words. House construction progressing? Nicely. I'm gonna need a lot of guns to conquer people. We have revised the constitution and now finally we can do... Oh, we can't! Constitutional revision. Oh, goddammit. This takes forever, doesn't it? A year. Well, that's terrible, isn't it? Okay, okay, it's fine. We can focus on other stuff. What else can we focus on? The Navy, not necessary. Air focus, not necessary. Rearmament, not enough war support. Although we will be able to do that in a moment. Devalue the Frank, this will lead to extra research slots, but you need to do a lot of stuff to be able to do that. Also, if you do develop the colonies later, once you have conquered some stuff, I think it affects compliance there as well. So we have two options. Boost our economy or try to get research slots. Well, option three is get rid of communism. Let's do laissez-faire. It should boost our economy eventually. Although, if I just wait for political power... Let's cancel this. Wait until we have 150 political power and get a silent workhorse. Then we can continue. We do not need to rush anymore at this point. Computing machine and machine tools. Okay, silent workhorse. Gaston, that's better. Now we're finally gonna have some political power. And let's do laissez affair. It's a big bonus to our economy. Should I go to four, four armies? Probably not necessary, but to have these ones equipped. That's not easy. Three 150% bonuses for industry. Now, I could use them to get level three of everything here, early. So for that purpose, I have to delay computing machine for a moment and start construction too. See, once they're all started, the bonus will not apply to them, it will apply to the next level. So I can have level 3 of industry technologies in 37. Probably. That's a fair. Now, what else can we do here? Economic devolution. That will improve our economy a bit. Uh, this one is not that good. Or, you can get extra stability and more fascism. So, these are not very good. Although, if we protect the rights of man, we can use that to review foreign policy. Not sure that will be useful to us, but it does open up the focus tree. So, let's have a look what's available here. Interesting, we could use that to go with Britain and then switch uh, ideology. If we did this right, we could even use that to go with Britain and then turn fascist once we go with Britain. Although it's not necessary, I think I'm just gonna beat Britain. But it is a neat little trick we could do. Unless there's something else here. Oh no, we cannot do that and utilize the leaks, so it's it's void. Not important. Right, so what do we do now? Ban communism or economic devolution or devalue the franc? These are good, but I think we'll benefit more from actually getting a research slot. And maybe getting rid of political violence. Let's get rid of it just in case. I'm not sure how the events are uh, scripted. Maybe if we have the political violence modifier, things will get difficult for us later down the line. So let's get rid of it just in case. And then we can focus on the Frank. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we have three industry bonuses that I can use on this, this, and this, respectively. Getting all of them very quickly. Of course, I could even concentrate these bonuses and just do concentrated industry five areas or tools. Do we want to help Spain? We do not want to help Spain. Do your own thing. Now, machine tools are complete. As you can see, this will take 260 days. It's still a lot of time, because it's ahead of time, but it will benefit us. We'll do these, but first, computing machine. Political power is what we need the most at this point. We could go to a better economy, free trade, get some advisors maybe. Where's our war support? 11%. Uh, once we get some more world tension, I can use that to mobilize our military a bit. Should we go and get some more units? I think we should. But first, let's get rid of all those mountaineers. Because I'm going to need that for paratroopers. Still not sure if I should utilize paratroopers, but it's very nice to have the option. No more mountaineers. And train some cavalry. Prioritize them. I'll want a full army group and some paratroopers. I'll be switching these to a different uh, template once they're trained up and deployed. Using cavalry because they don't need a lot of equipment or manpower to deploy. Now, how long until the constitutional revision is over? October. Still a long time. Okay, I think it's time to take care of the Frank a little bit. It's not terribly important, but if I can get 
them extra research thoughts. It will be helpful in the long run. Okay, deploy these guys out of time. Switch to infantry. New army. Exercise up. I need five army experience to get a paratrooper template done. I do start with one, but it's not a perfect paratrooper template. And what I want is a perfect paratrooper template. Oh, am I running out of manpower? I might be. Machine tools. And soon concentrated industry three. Political power slowly climbing up. Oh, did I just get like 30 political power immediately for something? Seems I did. Was it a bug or did I miss something? Guess it doesn't matter. All right, what do we spend it on? Can't increase our economy. Don't have enough war support. Nor would I really want to. Air mobilization is not that big a jump. Military theorist. Tempting. But with the debuffs you have, hardly worth the effort at the moment. Same for any army advisors. If we were going fascist, that would be useful. But we're not. Technocrat. Captain of industry or war industrialist. Or slightly tempting. Not as good as free trade. Concentrated industry 3. It is ahead of time, but it should bring us benefits in the long run. We have devalued the franc. Now, in order to reach this research thought, we need to do this, 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 and this with possible Algerian France in the meantime. So, let's do that. I need more army experience. I need 5. I could exercise the troops that are already exercised to generate army experience, but that would waste equipment. My military production is slowly getting better, but that's the keyword here. Slowly. Here, have some more infantry. Probably investing in an entire army necessarily was a mistake. Ah, that's fine. We can handle it. Brand attacks China, which means I should actually be able to do rearmament. I usually don't like doing those military research things before I do uh, basic research slot things. I usually leave them for last. However, aggressive focus can be quite useful. And with this, we'll finally be able to do land doctrine. Let's not forget to give our field marshal skills. Aggressive assaulter, offensive doctrine, and charismatic. I'm not sure if charismatic is better than organization first. I think it is, but I haven't done any calculations or anything like that. Full army group is full. Now, if only I had the manpower or the equipment. I suppose I could wait until the paratrooper template is ready, having the manpower locked up in these units here, and then and start training paratroopers while cancelling these simultaneously. Invest in metropolitan France. Now, who are we going to attack first? Deploying some more troops. These will be switched into paratroopers. So there are temporary units. Still not at five. We'll just exercise everyone. We'll lose some equipment, but at least we'll get enough army experience in a moment. And done. Okay, what's this? Turkey wants stuff. No, you cannot have my stuff. I worked hard to conquer it. I can't have it. Now, new template. Create empty. Paratrooper. Just one paratrooper and nothing else. Sky, Frenchman. Now, how many of these can I train? Well, that's a lot. Do we want that many paratroopers? We might. We might actually want that many paratroopers. I'll wait a bit longer. If I switch all these to infantry, we'll get more divisions in the field, and thus our special forces limit will increase, and maybe I'll get all 72 paratroopers. Okay, constitutional revision is complete. Once this is finished, I can finally repeal the law of exile. All of you will be switched into what? Do I need to switch them to infantry to start with the paratroopers? I think I do. How many paratroopers can I make now? Can I do 72? I can. Deploy here. I'll cancel all this so the equipment can go where it's supposed to. And all the manpower that we receive, because we are building up manpower as we go, will go into these units. Right, now we can finally repeal the law of exile. It's almost 1938 and we still haven't detected anyone, which is terrible. But I'm working on it. One thing that might benefit me is getting some scientists. Can I do that if I'm non-aligned? I suppose I could release some puppets in order to get more manpower. I have enough political power to do stuff, but I think I'll save it for later to increase our conscription and economy. I suppose a technocrat is theoretically worth it. 5% research speed is useful. And some extra from computing machine. Incoming. Improved computing machine now. Okay, I think I need to free up some manpower. You switch to cavalry. Temporarily. Same for you. And all that. Manpower should flow into the paratroopers now. Is that gonna be sufficient? No, not nearly enough. So, all right then, I'll disband these. Now oh, I certainly have enough. Will I be able to deploy them over the special forces limit though? I don't know. I think I will, but I'm not sure. Huh, should we do assembly line production or construction three with the bonus? I think we'll benefit more from assembly line production early, although we might finally be able to start doing doctrines reliably. We have repealed the law of exile. Now, the choice. The legitimate heir is an interesting choice because we can unite the crowns of France and Spain, thus getting cores on the Spanish lands. But it's not as important as it seems, you know, having core territory there. Yes, we would get significantly more manpower, but we will have more than enough anyway. And it doesn't give us any good war goals except for Spain. Aurelian restoration. It's pretty nice. It gets lots of nice bonuses, like this for example. Political power and stability increase. However, it only gives us war goals against Germany and Italy. 
So yes, the right choice is to proclaim the Third Empire, because then we get war goals on the United Kingdom, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Soviet Union, as well as some bonuses. I suppose, oh, what's that? Yugoslavia wants stuff. Sure, we can have my bombers. Not like I'm producing any. Get ready to invade France. Alright, who's my strongest units? We have some motorized and some tanks which are fully equipped and high experience. Now, actually, three of the five armies, because I also need some of them to fight the British puppets so that I can annex them too. That will take some naval invading, but this way this war will give us a lot more stuff. Probably should have created some more troops to compensate. Who else do we need to fight? British Raj, Australia, and New Zealand, and possibly Malaya, but I don't think it's necessary. Which only leaves me with four units to navally invade the UK. So I get at least one port, that's more than enough. I oh, know, actually, I don't need to navally invade all of you. I can just walk into the British Raj, which is much better. Right, all this given, I have five left to do my naval invasions of the UK. Now this should suffice. Also, let's deploy six more units to fill out the armies. I still have a lot of time, just wanted to be ready in advance. Concentrated industry three is complete. Now Dankus tells me this is better than this. I'm not so sure, but I think they made some calculations, so probably right. Could use it now, but I can also delay it a little bit and get a bonus here. New field marshal. Our phone's gorgeous. Probably will not be using the paratroopers a lot, but it's... Oh, of course, I forgot to build transport planes. We have proclaimed the Third Empire, Napoleon the Sixth. Let's avenge Waterloo, shall we? Britain first. No, the Navy. One of all, are all the naval invasions a go? Yes, they are. Well, apart from the English Channel, but we'll deploy that Navy a bit later. Hmm, a severe and deficit of oil. Napoleon claims the French throne. Wonderful. Ruler by the grace of the right-wing mob? I think not. I need more war support. My economy is not that great. At least with this, we'll have a lot of stuff to conquer. Now, I could do these ahead of time and not declare the wars yet. Just get, um, what's this? I am the Flood, I think. And this way, I got a lot of manpower. But we are now non-aligned. Can I still do the scientists? Yes, yes, I can. But if I do, my stability will be so low that I'll get a lot of strikes. I will get those strikes anyway, though. So I suppose it doesn't matter that much. All right, let's get the scientists. German and Italian ones. Less stability, more research speed. Of course, I would benefit more from more research slots, but there are more pressing concerns than getting research slots. Radio research complete. Do I have any transport planes? Yes, I do. Start research of the better gun. I know it's ahead of time. It will be worth. We're almost ready to attack Britain. I have decided to diversify my naval invasions. See, if they dominate the English Channel to the extent that I can't launch mine, I can actually go through here, not touching the English Channel. Well, it would be nice to go like this, but unfortunately, the AI always plots the route through here for some reason, even if I set this to restricted, so this doesn't do much. Still, no problem, I think we should manage. Also, the invasions should launch on day one, but I have seen this fail, so I need to be prepared. Let's also buy some oil for the Navy. I will terminate the trade afterwards, but if I'm doing power drops and, um, you know, Navy stuff, I need that oil. Speaking of power drops, let's assign our planes where they're supposed to be. I think I need some fighters in France, and then some fighters in the English Channel, and everybody else goes there. Get all the missions, whatever. Also stop the exercise. If I can land at least one port, I should be fine, but um, we have to be careful. Now, do I have the planes ready to deploy? I have two. Let's wait a bit and pause the game. Three are here. Deploy them here. I don't have the manpower. That's fine. I'm just going to cancel these units in production. I don't need them anyway. Right, deploying the planes, and once they're deployed, I can start planning uh, the power drops. I'm considering actually taking Belgium and the Netherlands first. It could be used to, you know, get a bigger navy or have the Netherlands um, serve as a place to launch a naval invasion over here. And if the British join mid-fight, um, I would kind of take them by surprise, I think. So actually taking Belgium first might be the best course of action. Let's do that. Whilst also having troops prepared to crush England if they decide to join. Now, navy. Where's my navy? I'm going to take some submarines and dedicate them to this area. Let's split you into four. Transfer you here. Give you a guy. Go, go, go. All right, uh, the main force. Should I send them on patrol duty? It usually works for me, so I will do it that way. And you patrol these four bits. And I get green navy everywhere. If the English have their navy in port, or just, you know, get delayed for a moment or something like that, I will launch my naval invasions and win. Are you guys not... You're not in position yet. That's fine. And I have troops in ports ready to support the invasions if they land. Now, for the paratroopers. Should I use them against the Netherlands and Belgium as well? I suppose I 
could. That could speed things up a lot. First off though, let's plan attacks on Britain. I will send them to ports, first and foremost. If we get a port, with a power drop or otherwise, we just send troops there normally, take it over and go from there. I have enough power troopers to actually cover the entire southern England area, and perhaps we should do just that. If the power drops start, because the British will have more planes than I will, but there is a chance, of course, that they'll let their guard down or something and that the power drops will be successful, uh, the more we can drop, the better, of course. And these troops are expendable, super small units that are good only for um, actually taking territory, not for holding it or anything like that. Why don't I have naval supremacy here? Are you still going? They're still going. Okay, so it's fine. Where was I? Oh yeah, paratroopers. I'm actually going to limit myself with these paratroopers because, uh, I mean, if they launch, I can just uh, paint new orders. But the problem with these paratrooper orders is they can't bloody see anything. Although what I am also going to do is hasten the defeat of Belgium and the Netherlands by doing some very sensitive power drops. Then again, do I want to hasten their defeat? I suppose I could lengthen the war a little bit to get more army experience. I will see how it goes in a moment. Right, are these invasions activated? Not all of them. Or maybe they're not in position yet. Yeah, they're not in position. I don't get it. Why is this one not activated? Maybe it's an organization thing. Oh, and Waterloo is complete. Let's have a look at the naval map. Ah, I suppose it's fine. Um, then it is time to attack Belgium. Well, let's go. Should I drop the paratroopers or get some more army experience? Well, the next focus is gonna lead me to the research slot. I suppose I'll also attack the Netherlands and activate the paradrops on Belgium. Let's see how they work. Okay, I did take some bits. This is sure to disorganize them slightly. Paradrops were quickly defeated. That's not really an issue. I suppose this army is relatively free as well. I will send it to reinforce and grind a bit against the Benelux because I want the army experience. We're not in a huge rush to attack the British. If I take over the Netherlands first, I can redirect a naval invasion to go from here to over here somewhere. Also, this is concerning me. Why is this not activated? Maybe if I edit it a little bit and make it go, say, here? Is it going to be better? Okay, maybe I just didn't click the activate button again. Doesn't matter. Let's focus on Belgium now. I'm still losing fuel, really. Am I not buying a lot of it? No, it's because my fleet is operating, isn't it? I still have some tanks in my army. Nah, it's okay. But my navy shows me where the British troops are situated. It seems they've fortified the port over here. Very good to know. Oh, I know what I could do. If I attack the British now, they would invite these guys to the Allies. And then maybe move their troops here, leaving the British Isles exposed. On the other hand, it might be better to defeat these guys completely and use them against the Brits. Oh, also, you guys just don't engage. I don't want to destroy their fleets because I might pop at them to take the fleets over. Yeah, there. Can you guys hurry up a bit? I know they're not well equipped, but they should be crushing the enemy already. It's probably because I haven't researched the, the doctrines. We'll get right on that. I do have enough army experience to actually start doing it now. Puppeting them to get their fleets would be beneficial. On the other hand, if I do that, the Germans will get war goals on them, which would put me at war with the Germans earlier than I might want. Research thought, please. Come on, Belgium, you should capitulate by now. Yes, thank you. So, what do we do? I'm just gonna take everything. Now, let's have a quick look at the Netherlands. How much of a fleet do you have? That is a sizable fleet, but I'm still going to just annex them and see, because I only need the fleet to invade the UK, and if I can invade from this port over here, that might just fix possible troubles with the English Channel. No investments. Come on, finish the Netherlands off. It's a pity you can't take uh, the fleet over if you're annexing. Then again, I could puppet them, and then very quickly lower their independence and annex them. Well, that would cost a lot of political power. You know what? No, let, let's try it with the one tag thing. Just become France. Uh, right, at least we'll have enough guns. I am going to satellite the Dutch East Indies from them and then take all states. Oh, can't do that in one swoop. Pass, pass, pass. Take all states. Still can't do that. All right, that's enough. Now, with the Dutch East Indies puppeted, I can actually use their manpower, which they should have a lot of. Yep, they do have a lot of manpower, which I could use for my units. I probably should. Let's create a template. French East Indies. I will use this one. It's just infantry with recon. Switch all of these guys to it. I will free up some manpower. Also, that means I can deploy uh, the extra planes I built in the meantime. Not sure it's necessary for anything, but I can. Now, naval invasions. Uh, which port was... Oh, they're moving off from the port that was defended a moment ago. Maybe I should still try to attack it. I want to try and send at least one naval invasion around this way. So which one should I abandon? Maybe the one next to London. It's not that likely to succeed. Go from here over to here. No? Does it go through the English Channel? Will it go through the English Channel or not? Not so sure. 
You know what? Let's try it. Just to diversify things a bit. Now the navy. I need a few ships here. Let's detach a couple. Okay. This should suffice. About now. Okay. And the main navy we have here. Engage at low risk. Don't repair. So if I'm able to land the naval invasions, all will be well. That is, if I'm able to do it. Activate the power drops as well. Everything seems to be going. Well, let's wait a little bit so that my manpower can reach uh, the units. It's reinforcing. Same for equipment. Because see, I, I've flipped them to a colonial template. So my troops should be better equipped now. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's declare war on Britain and hope our naval invasions launch. The naval invasions have halted. God damn it. All right. So they had their fleets at the ready. Let's see, enemy supremacy 1000. So they had their fleets at the ready. Hmm. Uh, if I pull back from here and send you here and here. Well, that'd be enough for this invasion to launch. Unlikely. Oh, their subjects have joined. Let's see. See if it's enough for them to abandon the English Channel. It is not. Okay, so this is a lost cause. But if I hold you, rather cancel all your orders and move you all here. How about that? Oh, and the, the, paratro the paratroopers went. Why did I miss this? Okay, we need to act quickly. This changes everything. Where's that big navy? You actually go into the English Channel and hope to escort my convoys. And my convoys are going here. They're going here very quickly and aggressively. Move. Yes, there's high risk and whatnot. Move anyway. Oh, you stop. You stop. What's that we're supposed to do? The naval invasions can, can stop, I suppose. Okay, whatever. Maybe, maybe that's just enough. What if I move this paratrooper here? And more paratroopers have landed. That's absolutely brilliant. You stop your advance and actually move to a different province. Try to land here. You try that too. Hold the port and advance. Uh, no more paratroopers are landing, but we did get two ports. And if I can hold on to them, the Brits are as good as dead. Actually, you got three ports now. But these guys are advancing to the port. Will I land before trouble strikes? You guys, redirect here. Okay, we've landed, but we're under attack and not well supplied. Did I just lose an entire army in a blink of an eye? That would certainly be very unfortunate. But were you not? We're getting a foothold in the north. Yes, yes we are. But we did lose an entire army, which is uh, sad, but also funny. Because it made no sense whatsoever. Oh, whatever. We'll manage to kill them, I think. You go here. Everyone go there. Also, the garrison can extend a little bit. Yeah. Guard the ports. Moving on. Yes, we are in Britain. Good. Now, let's review the colonial situation because I wanted to make sure we fight all of their subjects as well to make sure they're in the peace conference. So Canada worked. Good. We are about to land in South Africa. We have landed in Malaya. Good. Walk around a bit. We are landing in Australia and we have landed in New Zealand. And we were also killed in the Raj, which is good, which is fine. Now all that remains is to kill Britain here and we win. Should I pop up them for the fleet? I might do that. Their fleet is infinitely larger than the Netherlands fleet that I was thinking about earlier. And we got London. We still need the paratroopers. I don't think so. Let's cancel the orders so I can see anything here. Okay, good. Be very aggressive and attack them on all fronts. Capture Dover and Portsmouth so that I can have some more supplies. Unit conference. Um, This is actually tempting. If we have Czechoslovakia on our side, fighting the Germans is quite easy. But I'm not ready for the Germans. Although what I could do is just not accept their call to arms. At least not immediately. Not until I've dealt with the British. Then again, I would have to fight the Germans and the Italians alone, I think we have a better chance of winning if we wait. Also, I'm not aligned and I can justify war goals at 50% world tension, which means bye-bye Spain. Yeah, we have other priorities. I will deal with the Germans a bit later. Munich agreement. Sad. I mean, I suppose I could have left the British for later and dealt with the Germans now. Ah, it's fine. I think I'm about to lose my entire fleet here. As long as that secures some supplies for me, I'm okay with it. Yeah, run faster. Get ports in different sea zones. Give me those supplies. Did I land in Africa? Yes, I did. I did land in Australia as well. Okay, so their puppets are taken care of. Now we just need to win the war. Can you please move a bit faster? Or maybe take Liverpool. There's a port. Yeah, things are looking good. The Brits will soon be taken care of. Once you land and secure enough supply, they're as good as dead. The one thing I regret about conquering the British is, you know, sacrificing their fleet if I annex them, but I suppose they have so much territory I could just um, leave them with Gibraltar or something like that. Oh, my troops in the colonies are dying, but that's a uh, sacrifice we're willing to make. And here it is, the end of Britain. Let's uh, pass, 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 and just annex everything. Annex Australia, annex New Zealand, annex Malaya. Wait a minute, why is, why is the Raj not in the conference? I did fight them. Maybe it's because I didn't take anything. So 
North Africa. Maybe I can still satellite them from the UK. Let's see satellite. Sometimes this satellite option disappears after um, the first pass, so I might have made a big mistake here. Let's see. Liberate, liberate, liberate. Satellite the British Raj. Here it is. Okay, good. Uh, France has colonial policy of just annexing territory outright. I remember this from history uh, that, you know, they all became French citizens and stuff like that. So, actually, pretty nice policy. So, I think I'll just take all the territory directly. Um, specific also because we have some extra compliance bonuses that we will use later. So, I'm going to take all states. Well, almost. I'm going to leave them with one bit to house their fleet. Now, what should it be? Wouldn't it be funny if I left them with Northern Ireland? Just for their fleet. It can be useful against the Italians, for example. Uh, I'll leave them the south here, so they can actually provide us with some manpower. Uh, you know what, I'll just leave them with their core territories and take all the colonial ones from them. And pop it. I will be annexing them anyway later, so I might as well steal some manpower while I am at it. It will cost me 300 political power, but that's not that big a deal anymore. No subjects. Great Britain. I'll send them some convoys to decrease their autonomy. And suddenly we're in business. Here, have a thousand convoys for your freedom. Now, I think it's time we prepare for our next war. Maybe got some extra troops going. Let's go to just infantry. I don't have tanks to reinforce stuff. You can continue using the colonial ones. You switch to the colonial ones as well. Put an entire army in Gibraltar because I am attacking Spain. Uh, how long until my war goes ready, by the way? 160 days. What if I did Portugal too? Yeah, that'll work. We'll do them both. Let's ignore the naval invasion potential of our enemies. And actually, I'm gonna need more troops. Luckily, I do have army experience now. Oh, well, let's create a tiny converter template. What's tiny in French? I think it's petit. This time, a bird. And yeah, train those were those and convert them to whatever we need after they're deployed this should do decisions do we care not really nothing too important here I suppose i could do war propaganda but it's very expensive maybe i could have done it while at war in a better way it's fine anyway french raj let's have a look pause not a lot of manpower but enough and britain actually i decided to make them a puppet because they can be very aggressive with naval invasion and stuff and they can be helpful they have a lot of factories that i'm not using myself but i think they'll be a good puppet and i'll lower their independence soon so they can provide us with more stuff Tough. Is it time to conquer the United States yet? Mm, let's take out Spain first. Then I'll probably need to deal with the Germans. Okay, Charles, you're going here. And this dude is going here. Actually, these three armies will probably be enough to conquer Spain, but um, I can provide them with more troops. Let's have a look at our current main template. Yeah, let's increase it to 20 width, add a recon, and support anti air. Now I can afford to start building that. Don't really need those transport planes anymore, but let's finish the one we're currently building. Make some towed anti air and some motorized. The Research some signal companies soon. I suppose I'll put 10 factories on this, 3 on this, and 5 on this. This is gonna be enough eventually. No, actually, I have enough guns as I stole them from the people we've conquered, uh, so I can just uh, dedicate a bit more to enter air and artillery and then go back to guns. Still do. Now, research. Where's my research? Let's finish this and then focus on some more important stuff. Also, we're about to get the fourth research sort, which is just wonderful. Let's exercise everyone. Still some time before we attack. Now, the navy. I don't want to buy oil anymore. Let's cancel the trade. It's going to help our economy quite a bit. Now, the navy. Do I have anything left? Uh, the Brits destroyed most of it, but that's not a problem. The Brits are going to be our navy now. Uh, how do I... God damn it, how do I merge you? <sighs> Naval management. Seriously, I just god damn it hate it. Okay, so apparently I can't merge the two fleets. I just don't know how to do it. See, I'm clicking. So I need to cancel them completely and then reform them into a new fleet, which takes forever and is stupid. There is one thing I absolutely hate about this game, and it's naval management. There are things I don't like, like uh, theaters, for example. I don't like using them, but I acknowledge that some people might like using them. So for the navy, I just hate it indiscriminately. Okay, merge everyone. Merge all the remaining fleets we have. Will the Germans attack me? I wonder. Okay, we have four research slots now. Do I need more manpower? I could get some more manpower. Or stimulate my economy. Hmm, daily compliance gain for the Netherlands. That would be quite nice. I could get a collaboration government or just use their territory soon with this. But it's not a very pressing matter. I mean, the sooner I get this, the more factories I'll have. But factories are not a problem, really. Not anymore. We don't intend to attack the Germans just yet, so let's leave that alone. Now, do we boost our economy with this? Or do we boost ourselves here a bit and get more research slots? Now, this is best taken once we've finished our early conquests. Because with this, will get a lot more compliance in all our territories. This is just four military factories, not important. I will want Algerian France, uh, this one, a bit later. We could begin rearmament, get our forces to be a bit better. 
I suppose. I guess I'll invest in our economy a bit. Now, the research slot. We can finally start doing doctrines, but we have the army experience for it. Can we deploy the converters yet? Not yet, no. Greek officials, we have no interest in Greek affairs. We're about to conquer Spain. And then either the Germans or the United States. Right, deployed units. Now I can convert them. Okay, I need one for this guy. Oh, do we still want to use colonial templates? How much manpower do you have left? Still a lot, so I do want to use more colonial templates. Okay, 24 of you. Colonial, new army. John the field marshal, get a general. Yeah, we lost all of their troops in Dover, an entire army, but it was worth it. We got Britain for it. Okay, now six more. Yeah, the colonial template is decent enough, and it's saving me manpower. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, I'll bring it to 20 with next to research. Let's do assembly line production. It's ahead of time, but with the bonus, it will be done fairly quickly. I would like to increase my economy. Uh, partial mobilization is not that great, but I won't be able to go to work on me for a long time. Um, I think I would need to be a in a defensive war for this to work, so I'll just go with partial mobilization now. That'll do it. Right, more troops for the Spanish border. You, there. I do have an air force. I could use paratroopers. It will likely not be necessary, but let's be ready just in case. Should I send even more troops to Gibraltar? No, I should not. And we can reduce British independence, which will give me a lot more military industry. Let's do that. I can annex them, but I'm not sure I want to. See, our military industry has improved significantly. And I had like um, 150 ships or something like that. Now I'm left with 50. 55 to be precise. Oh, that's fine. I don't really need them anymore. They were only needed to invade the British. Everyone else I can kill without a navy, especially since we now have a land border with the United States. In hindsight, I probably should have destroyed them before Spain, but it's here and so tempting. I'll just get in the United States afterwards. Better guns researched. Wonderful. Let's do construction three. Oh, right, and with the British military industry, I now have way more factories to do stuff for me. That's a bit better. Now we need to buy steel. We'll buy it from our puppet very cheaply. I love having puppets. I'll probably annex them later to have nicer borders, but uh, they can serve a purpose. Should I use more colonial troops? Let's see, how much manpower do you have left? Not that much, I suppose I could flip one more army to colonial, just until we exhaust their manpower. Oh, I could use um, French Raj for this. Yeah, I could. Maybe that'll be better. Let's have a look. What do you have? Just infantry. Infantry with artillery, which is nice, if you have enough artillery. I prefer to go with pure infantry with um, supports. But this is also valid. That's a 7-2. Okay, I guess I'll use this one. I should have enough artillery. Let me have a look. I don't. I don't have enough artillery. So no. Let's copy another one. And that is just infantry with support, like this one. And for the countries that I am attacking... Wait, did I click to copy this? For the countries that I'm attacking, it's not really an issue. Mm, I misclicked something and it didn't copy. Yeah, this one. Okay, that's better. Rename it. The Raj units, or whatever. And once their manpower starts getting exhausted, I'll just flip them to my regular French units. Let's use up the colonial manpower first. Make sure you guys exercise a bit before actually going to battle. Now, the planes. I'll probably not be using paratroopers. Let's merge the earrings a bit, and then split the ones. Okay, now select everyone except for the transport planes, in case I need them, and just assign them to Spain. Economic devolution. Fine. Now, these two. I would go for manpower, but we have enough with our subjects, so I don't really need to do so yet. We still have some time before the Germans become a threat. I'm not sure they'll even want to attack me, and they might, so we need to be ready for it. Shall I extend the marginal line or just attack them? Should probably just attack them. Oh, right, I stopped building stuff. For some civilian factories, I do have plenty of military ones. Let's get a captain of industry. We're about to be ready. Now, the Germans, um, I'm not sure if they'll attack me. They probably will. But if I could afford to not worry about that, I could just invade the United States instead. Wait, I, I made a mistake with Spain, I should be invading the United States instead, it's uh, worth more to own them. But with Portugal and Spain, our borders will be much neater. This still takes 600 days. I think I need to wait for military experience. And again, what else am I gonna research? Let's just start working on it. I'll need to do it eventually. Italian operative. Oh, right, I forgot about spies entirely. Should I get some? Sure, let's get some spies. And stimulate the dynamic market. With the better guns, even my pure infantry will be fairly powerful. I'm going to need a free research slot. Fortunately, this is about to finish because I wanted to add signal companies to them. I realize I'm not using my good template, I'm using my colonial ones, but Spain is not going to be a difficult fight. Well, let's go. As you can see, this is fairly simple. They shouldn't have enough troops to even cover the entire border. Portugal is relatively weak too, so I can just take them over quickly. And the world tension has gone up a bit, hasn't it? Once I'm done just firing on Portugal, I should start working on the United States. Right. Cryptology. You can see Spain is not putting up a fight. Instruction 3 complete. Let's get those signal companies. Justification for Portugal is complete. Let's declare immediately. Spain is taking out some of my African territories. Fortunately, it doesn't matter at all. And we're reaching Portugal. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to stop exercising them. Yeah, make sure to go into Portugal. Go to Czechoslovakia. And they should be going into Molotov-Ribbentrop, yeah? Or demand mammal? They have demanded mammal. 
already, it seems. Does Portugal have any troops? Like any? All oh, right, I'm supposed to just found the United States. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good idea, because if the Germans attack me in the meantime, it'll be a disaster. I can always cancel the justification if I have to. I have any nice war propaganda decisions? I do. Let's do that. Probably should have done that while I was fighting the British too. Portugal has no forces. How is that possible? No troops whatsoever. Strange, but I'm not gonna complain. Take all states, please. And now Spain. Finish them off, please. Radio interception. And let's get our first operative. Actually, no, not radio interception. Oh, I can't cancel it. Can. I can't cancel it. Localized training centers. Yes, and that. Any interesting operatives? Not really. I'll take her because she's a linguist. Start working on the United States. Actually, no. Start working on Germany. I want to know what they're doing. And Spain is taken care of. Pass, 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 pass. Take all states. Here's the French Empire. Looking good, especially in Africa. Now, America time. It's 1939, so they should still be weak. And I am not weak anymore. And the Brits should help me with their fleet. Send everyone there, aggressively. Also exercise a bit when you get there. Fleet can stay home. And I'll need some more troops, won't I? Yeah, I probably should have gone for the manpower. We'll do it in a moment. Now, let's see. Does the Raj have any manpower left? Does not. How about you? You do. French East India has a lot of manpower left. Almost an endless supply. Good. Let's get two more armies of the Raj type troops. Once again, they're not perfect. They don't have that much equipment or anything like that. But they're good enough. Actually, the paratroopers, I don't really need them right now. I will just dump them in one army. Use the field marshal for greater things. Should I maybe get a better field marshal, like Captain Darling or Charles? I don't like these defensive field marshals very much. But I don't have any brilliant strategists available either. I guess I'll just promote Charles de Gaulle. Should I do Alphonse instead? The harsh leader recovery rate and decreased. Not that good. Cautious. I like Philippe. Organizer can be helpful. Let's promote him. Sorry, Captain Darling. He really does look like him. Gaston. You can use field marshals as generals. Oh, speaking of generals, I should probably promote some of my guys. Seems like they did not gain enough experience to be promoted. Well, he did, but I made him a field marshal, so I'm not gonna make him an infantry expert. Charismatic organizer, offensive doctrine. Ah, damn it, I forgot. I should have made him a logistics wizard. Well, let's hope he gets enough experience to get another trait. I will need to garrison my homeland. So, Alphonse Gorgeous. I know, his name is not Gorgeous, sadly. Will guard me against American naval invasions, which will not happen because the British will protect us navally. But just in case, you just garrison all the ports. Peace of mind, after all. 31 units needed for that. Here you go, have some more. And if the Germans start making problems, I'll just quickly convert some troops that I have here and send them to the border. But it might not be necessary. Now, all of you go over to the United States. Factory count is nice. Manpower could be better. Once I'm done with this, I really need to start working on my manpower. Let's go down this path here, which will give me a huge amount of manpower. In just 210 days. Which is not that much. You guys almost in position? Yes, almost. At this point, my biggest problem is the Germans. Shouldn't they be attacking Poland by now? Did I send my spy there? I did. I need to develop my agency because she's gaining intel too slowly. I would think I sped the game up a bit by increasing the world tension. Radio interception thingy. Also, let's get a German spy. Advanced computing machine. Need some more guns. Fortunately, I have 46 factories on them. Alright, Ellie joins the Germans, Motov Ribbentrop, and now they should be doing that to war. Of course, I am not going to defend Poland. Oh, god damn it. Is Britain allowed to join this war? I hope not. Can my subject join a war? It would be absolutely terrible if they did. I should probably just annex them before this war breaks out. Can I do that? I would need a 300 political power. Let's see what the Germans are doing. Still can't see. Not enough intel. Right, let's continue. Borodino. And more factories, please. Doing civilian ones because I need steel and stuff like that. So I have enough military factories for now. Some better artillery, since I'm using it anyway. I honestly don't know if the Germans attacking Poland would trigger a war with Britain. It would be much safer to annex them. What is your independence score? It's pretty high. And they are exporting to me, which is not making it better. Now, if I sent you all my convoys, you would be ready for annexation, or almost ready for annexation. But right, let's count on the spies letting me know when the Germans attack Poland. Because if the Antigua War was happening, I should probably get a notification already. Now, let's not risk it. Do the land lease right now. Convoys. A thousand convoys, because I need some for my troops in America. And you can have your old planes back. Oh, they're old, so you don't want them. Rather, they're not giving you... They're not reducing your independence. That's unfortunate. I guess I'll send them anyway. Oh, how about cars? Yes, cars should do it. You have 2,000 of them. It's not a lot. Anti-air and artillery. All right, all right, this is this is working. And support equipment. And fuel. Does the fuel actually count or not? No, it does not. And have Belgian motorized as well. Belgian motorized doesn't work. 
Huh. All right, have some more convoys. This will have to do. Now I should probably cancel my focus to gather protocol part and next them. Let's do that. I did not expect them to be so problematic. I see your focus yet. 40% spy network and I still can't see your focus. Justification for New York is complete. I should probably attack. Oh, wait a minute. Am I guaranteeing Romania? I huh. should revoke that. That can wait. Are my troops ready to attack the United States? Yes, they are. The United States seem to have insufficient troops to defend their borders. Well, let's go. Call my allies, because why not? Here you go. Also, stop exercising, you're attacking people. Go? This is looking good. Shouldn't take too long. North American Federation. Colombia, really? It doesn't really matter if I defeat the United States. As you can see, we're already moving into their territory. I should have taken an elusive gentleman. See, I'm really worried that the Brits will pull me into a war. Poland refuse a German ultimatum. Yeah, that could be a problem. I don't think I can annex them in time. Can I? They didn't even get the land lease yet. Right, just in case, because they're gonna attack them at any moment. I'm going to secure my borders. Oh, they just use French manpower. That's all we have for now. Okay, I've used up all the other ones. I'll make an entire army group out of these guys, just to secure my borders. I don't want to fight the Germans. Just uh, if making the Brits my puppet leads to them pulling us into a war, well, that's why I need these troops, just in case. Focus on the Netherlands at the most. Actually, you are just uh, a reserve. Germany declared war on Poland. All right, are you at war with the Brits? You are not. Good. They're still guaranteeing Poland, but they're not called into the war. I think they were not called into the war. Or they can't accept being a puppet. Whichever it is, I'm happy about it. Now, I realize fighting them right now could lead to my victory because they're fighting the Polish right now, but I really have other priorities. And if you can't join the call to arms, I don't need to annex you. On the other hand, I might want to annex you. Right, let's operate under the assumption that they cannot join this war and cancel their land lease. Or they'll just almost cancel it. I'll still send them some of these convoys. I already did it. Okay, clear it. No, no, I did not do it yet. So, I have 800 convoys just so your mm, independence doesn't go up. Okay, please do not join the war on the Germans. Thank you. How are we doing in the United States? Very well, because they're very weak in 1939. I will be able to take them over easily. And the real question is, what should we do with them? If I make them a puppet, I'll be able to get endless resources very cheaply and a lot of manpower. But if I just annex them and increase compliance, that'll be even better. Eventually. All right. Says Germany is justifying against me. Let's have a look. Around Maginot. So this will give them a war goal on me. I hope they won't act on it. Oh, yeah, let's call them into the American war. They might be able to help. Lend lease, really? No, I'm actually sending you lend lease. Your independence is too high. Expeditionary forces could be useful. Now, my forces here are very weak. They don't have enough manpower or equipment. I'm just hoping they deter the Germans from attacking me. And then my main force can go back from the Americas. Please do not attack me, Germany. Well, if I improve relations? <laughs> yeah, why the hell not? I mean, they're fighting Poland at the moment, so they shouldn't be attacking us. But I'm just going to improve relations with them, because I can. Oh, full force, yeah. Occupied territories. Did I assign the proper template? I did not. We want a pure cavalry template to oversee our conquered territories. Call it cav. This. That's better. Civilian oversight is fine because compliance grows quickly. Now, I did get a lot of army experience from fighting the United States. Maybe I should cancel this, switch it to something else temporarily, and then go back and actually spend the army experience this time. Okay, that's a bit better. Now, if I had more war support, I could go to war economy right now, or increase my conscription. Sadly, not possible. But I'm running a war propaganda campaign. No, I'm not. This bugged out, it seems. Very unfortunate, because I need more war propaganda. Rather, war support. No, seriously, I'm not running a war support campaign. Ah, whatever. Poland has capitulated. Now, there is a big chance that the Germans will attack me now. There's also a chance that they will attack Denmark. Also, I'm close to capitulating the United States. Maybe I should push a bit more. Maybe like this. I need to hurry up. Perhaps attacking them was a mistake. Not being ready for the Germans. We'll see. I'm hopeful. Fortunately, the Americans have created an alliance. Oh, they attacked Luxembourg. I'm absolutely fine with that. Oh, really? Luxembourg has joined the American faction, which means I could now join the Axis if I disbanded my faction which is actually brilliant. Wait, I don't have a faction. Perfect. Hey, Adolf, I need to be at war with the same people. I need Luxembourg to be at war with me. Or the US to be at war with the Germans. Yes. <laughs> Can I join the Axis now? No, they, but they might invite me. No, the Germans could theoretically try and influence my peace deal with the United States, but that shouldn't really happen. I am hoping to join the Axis. I might get an invitation soon. We are the wrong ideology, but we are at war with the same people. They have strategic reasons to ally me. Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> Let's join the Axis. Except 
accept. I'm safe. We have joined the Axis. That's absolutely brilliant. See, now I don't have to worry about the Germans. I can even fight the Soviets together with them. Of course, I'm getting the Borodino thing now. Now we're completely safe. I can even order 66 them if I want to. I don't need to. Lend these from the Germans. Of course I want it. My participation in the war is 98%. I can't let the Germans take stuff from me, so I need to hurry up. You guys, hurry up. And here's the peace deal with just Luxembourg. Okay. Oh, is that because they haven't fought the United States? Are we in the war alone? Yes, we are. That is brilliant. So we used the war to join the Axis, and then they got kicked out of the war, and we're in perfect condition. We're safe from the Germans. I mean, we could withstand them, perhaps beat them right away, but uh, it would be difficult. It would be a hassle that we don't need. Using politics to not have to fight them is superior to fighting them and winning. Now, I'm gonna save the other operative slot because I want a Soviet one. Start working in Moscow. I could have done the coalition government in the United States. I probably should have done it from the start, but I forgot to make spies. This is occupied Eastern Poland, not a problem. I should probably reboot the game because this is clearly bugged. I should be able to do war propaganda. Ah, let's leave it. It's fine. I'll get some stability instead. Improved working conditions. How are you guys doing? Very well. Just a bit longer. I wonder if I'll get Colombia in the peace deal. And we've reached the shores. Go to Florida. Ah, the French Empire. We've done Brodino. Don't really intend to attack anyone with it right now, but it opens up. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. Je suis la Deluge. I think that's how that's pronounced. Might be wrong. I think that means I am the Flood, which I am. And that will give me the manpower to be the Flood that will swallow up the world. Joining the Axis just because they needed help fighting Luxembourg together. Mutinies and the army. Um, yeah, let's do that for the extra stability. My, it, it was bound to happen. Such low stability. Okay, here is the peace deal. Let's pass, 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 pass. Now, do we want their fleet or not? Because I could puppet them to get their fleet or annex them and get super compliance and everything immediately. But I don't really need a fleet. I'll have the British one. Let's just annex them. And again, if I decide to kill Japan, a fleet will be helpful. Well, for once, we are going to start like the Philippines, so let's start with that, and the turn, and now... Okay, I'll just take all states. Don't need the fleet that much. French Empire, so beautiful. Next stop, um, I think the Soviet Union is the only target we can prioritize right now. Although I could take Turkey, and from Turkey go into the Soviet Union. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let's go after Turkey. Whoa, that's a long justification thing. Very long. Okay, okay, I can go through Iran. I'll just find Iraq instead. That is in 60 days. Or through Afghanistan, since I do have the Raj. Don't even need Iraq. Yeah, let's do Iran directly. And Afghanistan. Starting with Afghanistan because they have an advisor. And then Iran. And with these, we'll be able to attack the Soviet Union from the south, which is usually uh, very damaging to them. Okay, wonderful. Now, our compliance in the United States is not very big. We're not going to get a lot of factories from them, at least not right away. However, one of the focuses that I have, and is this one, will give us a lot of compliance everywhere. 10% seems like not a lot, but it really speeds things up. And if I do protect the rights of man, then the Bloom Valley proposal and France Indivisible, that will give me another 10% compliance everywhere. I can then do lots and lots of collaboration governments or just have high compliance, which is just as good. Almost just as good. Okay, so you guys can return home. Go to the German border and wave to our German friends. Why are we not moving? All right, cancel your orders. Let's do it manually. Go to Norfolk, because why not? And then over here. Panay incident, we don't care. Oh no, we do care, because the Japanese will actually attack us soon, won't they? I will need a fleet. Perhaps I should have puppeted the Americans. Ah, never mind. I'll just annex the British and use their fleet. What is your independence like? Not that big, but I don't have political power. Oh, stop improving relations with the Germans, we don't need that anymore. Here, I have 200 convoys per month. That will do for now. Sadly, I did not manage to snatch Colombia in the peace deal, but that's not really a problem. No. It would be wonderful if the Finnish now joined the Axis. It won't happen, but it would be nice. Oh, Poland survived. Not a lot of them, but they did survive. I'm gonna need some more of these converter units. Don't worry about manpower, it's about to be much better. As soon as this focus finishes. But I should probably send those troops against Iran. I am justifying the war goal after all. And Afghanistan as well. Two armies each should do the trick. Probably even too much. Activate everything and off you go. Extra stability. Stability is much better now. Fortunately, I have enough army experience to actually do the doctrines now. Although I should reform the army at some point. Needed to take a break. Maybe the war propaganda thing will be available now. Nope. Strange. We'll see. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, let's get a Russian spy. And the focus is complete. We are going to mobilize quite a lot of manpower. It's going to take us a while to do it, uh, but our manpower troubles should be over now. All right, so where do we go from here? We have a lot of territory that we want to increase compliance in. What we're going to do is annex Britain, because I want the fleet for Japan, because Japan might attack me soon, and develop the colony because that will give me compliance everywhere. So let's make sure I can annex Britain right away. What land these am I giving you? 
200 monthly and I need 300 vodka pot and next them which will take a while to gather so I guess I will wait with the vodka colonies until we annex them in the meantime I can start moving towards the other one that increases compliance and that will be where where was that here rights of man blum violet proposal expand the citizenship and France indivisible now we can do French Union later that gives us referendums which will make territories our cores but it's actually something we don't want because some of them might just become independent instead as the tooltip says and we won't allow that this is as far as we need to go also non-core manpower modifier will increase our manpower quite significantly so let's protect the rights of man and get some extra stability from it as you can see our compliance is not that great but soon it will rise significantly in the meantime our people are on their way to iran which will be conquered now we don't have enough manpower in these units we still need to wait for my manpower to mobilize if i did the france um, french union thing uh, we would get huge amounts of manpower but i think it will be largely unnecessary by the way i intend to annex britain how much manpower do you have because i can annex you and steal that manpower half a million not a lot but it will be useful let's deploy these units more doctrines yes i know i'm doing them very late they did not reform my military and rejoins the axis which is not a problem because we are in the axis we're actually the largest and strongest member of the axis probably steal the faction from under germany yeah i can easily do that in a moment will japan be able to attack me though maybe not but they should be able to attack the philippines because they'll have a non-aggression pact with germany we'll see we'll see what happens we'll have the british fleet so it'll be easy to annex japan if we so choose also i'm about to be able to annex britain perhaps i should wait without a focus for a moment make it faster no we're not in a hurry my troops have arrived but the infrastructure here is terrible let's go to level six is there a port in the area there is not a port in the area there's one here so let's go to level six here as well that should suffice also do not repair stuff and then build some more factories i'm building civilian factories we can use them to build military ones or civilian ones in our subjects territories only thing is my factories might actually go down after i annex britain because compliance will go very low on their territory protect the rights of man is done oh this will give me a few cores that's nice we'll get manpower from it not a lot of manpower but some manpower is mobilizing Slowly. Putin claims Bessarabia. I'm actually guaranteeing Bessarabia, aren't I? Yes, yes, I am. Um, it's fine. If the Soviets were to attack them, we could use that to fight them in a defensive war. Let's get some excavation. One thing I'll miss about having Britain as a subject is that I'm getting a lot of steel from them very cheaply. All right, let's research this. The best guns. I'm not sure if I should do collaboration governments. I probably should, at least in Africa, because each of them will get their focus tree and get a lot from that focus tree. Although it feels weird to annex Britain and then release them as a collaboration government, I'll consider it justification is complete are we ready to strike guaranteed by colombia do we want to fight colombia i don't really want to fight colombia but i could maybe the bridge would invade them for me oh you're still here you can invade it for me prepare some naval invasions of colombia please i don't need them for anything but since they decided to pick a fight with me why not are there any ports on here i don't think so it well, doesn't really matter okay 10 naval invasions ready get in position please now i do have a navy somewhere there you are relocate to the caribbean you can station in jamaica as well actually this is a bigger port or here go to puerto rico i can wait for them to arrive the war goal is valid for two months we're not in a hurry still justifying another one as well okay you guys are going to patrol the caribbean and uh the western canal zone you guys ready for the naval invasion yes you are okay good colombia should be taken care of with this i think we're good to go mm, that's just afghanistan though right iran is still being justified on okay then let's attack and call in french raj go on attack Colombia has been called in. Well, luckily, we are ready for it. Let's see how our French naval invasion... North American Federation still exists. Uh, right, yeah, Colombia inherited the faction. Makes sense. This is defended. And this down here doesn't have ports. Were we not, though? I did get a port in Cartagena. All that we needed. Now move the rest of the forces here. Activate your orders, attack, etc. At least from the Raj. Sure, why not? Now you guys need to land here quickly before all these guys move in. Although I think they're being pinned by the invasion oh that is surprising i have successfully landed here i did not expect to successfully land here so it's a welcome surprise now there's a lot of you here let's take a few of you and relocate you here just to make sure we keep both ports
worked. Right, also attack north as well. And that takes care of Colombia, pretty much. You guys do your thing once you land. Right, let's check on Afghanistan. It's going slowly, but it's going. And we attack Iran, also guaranteed by Colombia. We call French rush to arms and justify on our next target. Now, the big target is the Soviet Union. So I'm thinking we could go through Tibet or I could get in on the war in China. Manpower is still a bit of an issue. I was expecting it, the problems to be over already, but it's still mobilizing, so we'll be okay. Now, can I do war propaganda? I still cannot. It's bugged out for some reason. Unfortunate. No matter though, we can manage. So yeah, I'm thinking I might want to attack. Oh, I'm not fascist, but I'm in a fascist faction. Does that mean I get the quick justification? China is in a major war. No, just for China. I think I could go after them. Yeah, seems like a good idea. See, even if I participate a little bit, we could steal quite a lot of the territory from Japan. So why not do just that? 30 days. I will not um, declare immediately. I need to deal with Iran or at least Afghanistan first to free up some of these troops. I don't want to bring more troops to the Raj. I do want the military experience. It's going to come in handy. Iran joined Joins the North American Federation. Doesn't sound right, does it? Who's increasing their independence? East Indies. Oh, right, yes, I'm using them in combat, that's why. I'll send them some convoys once I annex Britain in a moment. Right, I should be able to annex them now, yes, but let's make sure I utilize all of their manpower. Now, deploy all these, make sure they're all we have in this army. We don't want any expeditionary forces to trouble us. It doesn't seem like we have any. Good. Now, mm, how much manpower do you have? Let me see. Half a million. That's decent enough. So what we're going to do is get a template from the Brits. Doesn't matter which. Just infantry division is fine. Copy. Switch these guys to that template. Wait for them to drain the British manpower. Let's have a look. And manpower is draining. It's draining. It's drained. Now we annex them and this manpower will become ours. See, we have 200,000, right? This is how much we've earned by switching out these tiny templates. So now we go... Where do we go now? Here. Manage subjects. And we annex Great Britain. Manpower has not changed. Let's unpause. Manpower has not changed a lot. It increased a bit. But what if I take these units that were using British manpower and switch them back to this tiny template? Where was that? The T. Manpower is going back into the pool and it's not counted as British manpower anymore. It's counted as my manpower. I just stole half a million of their manpower. Also, now I have a navy. It's not important right now. I'll use it for Japan. Don't need it for anything else. Perhaps for Italy, but now that I'm in the Axis, it's not necessary. Also, I got some British troops. Yeah, I'm gonna switch them to that small template as well. I don't need them right now. Yay, more manpower. Of course, that has reset our compliance. So if we wanted to do uh, a collaboration government here, that's well, going to be an issue because it's going to take a long, long time. See, like Belgium is at 41%, Malaya is at 38 Great Britain, 0%. We're starting over, which is unfortunate. All right, let's make sure to prioritize garrisons. But now it looks better. These guys are having a hard time, aren't they? Right, I also recovered my convoys. Let's send them to the Indies. You can actually reduce your independence level quite easily. Should probably do the same to the Raj and Philippines just reduce their independence level. I'm gonna get more factories from them. I don't intend to annex them, but I could. The East Indies would give me a lot of manpower if I did that. Oh, I actually used up all of their manpower already with those colonial templates, so it doesn't really matter. I suppose you guys, well, no, not you guys, you guys, can switch to my old French template. Free up some of that Indies manpower. The Philippines don't have much. So here come the convoys. 1600 convoys once. That let me reduce their independence. We also sent some to the Raj and the Philippines. How much do I need to send though? The Raj, like 800 will be enough. The Philippines, more like a thousand. We want to go below the threshold once. And to the Raj, have 600 convoys once. Convoys are the best currency to control your puppets. Although, who wouldn't want to get some free ships? Oh, there's a thingy here I could advance through. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll send some troops there, I suppose. You go. At least sent. Now, my political power is very low. We're working on it. Also, I don't really need those troops here, do I? Could free up equipment and manpower for other fronts. So you can go to the small template. These are the ones without commanders. I'll free up lots of manpower and equipment for the other units to be reinforced. Are we doing in Colombia? Uh, very well. Actually, since we've landed on all that, let's uh, cancel all your orders, switch you to an all French template. Although, no, not in the middle of combat, because your manpower will go down and you'll get killed. Just use one frontline order instead of uh, many. Should I get Tibet and Sinkiang to attack the Soviets from here? Also, justify on the Turks faster now. Assisting enemy. Oh, I can use that. Although, it will take us forever. 
But anyways, I could wait for the leader to change. I'll just wait until my war go on. Chan is ready and then decide. Bomb violet proposal is complete. Now that I have annexed who I wanted to annex, we can do develop the colonies, which will give us 10% compliance everywhere. Grab dodging. Don't have the political power, which is a problem because I'm currently justifying a war goal. And if I'm out of manpower, it will stop. Let's see how long until it's justified. 13 days and this will expire in 13 days. Okay, I can wait. I want to take the expensive option because this usually gives you some stability. Also, don't want my war goal to pause. Ah, it's a pity. I thought it would give me the war goal before that thing expired. I think I just uh, took the cheap option. Let's try to deal with it now. Political power down. Well, we do have the war goal in China, so I can tag them now if I so choose. If I start justifying another war goal, well, I won't even be able to start because I don't have the political power to do so. So we have to be content with what we can do. Let's make sure our war goal on China does not expire. 7th of August. Is Colombia slowly being conquered, although we're suffering some attrition. God damn it. I was too late with the convoys. They increased their independence. Let's modify the land lease. Let's send them 400 for now. Um, because I'm not sure I won't be wasting the convoys. Not sure how far the compliance would go down from the current point. I should have started building stuff in their territory. Here, I have a few factories. Oh, please finish Afghanistan off. I do need to send some troops to China. Let's get that one army out of here. Not sure if China will call their subjects in or if I'll have to declare on them separately. I'll probably need to justify separately. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have... Yeah, I have ports here, which I should uh, put some troops in. Also, extend that front line here. You guys desperately need reinforcements, don't you? Four of you here, four of you here, and so on. This should do it. Although, I don't think you'll get there in time. Be using naval transports. At least some of you. Draft reform proves effective, and we get war support. Good. We should be finishing off Afghanistan soon. This is empty. Go there. Iran is proving difficult to conquer. It will take time. We'll do it, though, but it will take time. Same with Colombia. Luckily, we're patient, and we have a lot of equipment. Just missing some infantry equipment. Otherwise, Otherwise, we have lots of it. Now with this, we'll get an instant boost to compliance everywhere, which will be very helpful indeed. We could get so many collaboration governments. Just 13 in the United States. When the focus finishes, it will be 23, and then another one for another 10%. Doesn't seem like much, but it does speed things up quite a lot. Perhaps I should be providing you with infrastructure, so that you can fight without losing too many men. German interest in Scandinavia. Germany attacks Denmark. I'm not getting involved in this one. There's no need. Oh, maybe there is need. We joined our war, which is unfortunate because it could make things messy. We'll be fine, just uh, it's uncomfortable. We've developed the colonies, which gives us compliance everywhere. Of course, I could have waited with that to get China in as well. It isn't necessary to do so. Let's expand the citizenship to give us even more manpower. We have 0 0.067 of non-core population being used. Let's see how that changes after the focus finishes. Also, it's time to declare war on China now. We're not calling anyone in. I'm hoping they call Yunnan and the Jiangxi click into the war. Non-aggression from Japan, yes, please. Provisional government of Zaire. Normally I wouldn't do that, because this looks good. Netherlands Antilles, really. However, the provisional governments of those small African countries um, are actually very profitable, because you're not losing a lot by creating them, and they will get their own focus trees, which will give you a lot of stuff. So yes, they have a blessing. Our manpower has gone down quite a lot, though, hasn't it? About Netherlands Antilles. So yeah, see, this is a collaboration government of Zaire. They have zero civilian factories and zero military factories and zero dockyards. However, well, wait a minute, they seem to have one. Are they giving it to me? Yes, because they're a collaboration government and give me 75% of all their factories. So if they have one, they give me one. If they have three, they give me three. If they have four, they give me three. So yeah, they give me all their factories now. Now, continuing, I could of course build factories here if I did not release them. However, releasing them gives them manpower that I could use, but it's a lot of uh, work to set up those colonial divisions, so I'm not going to do that. But it also gives them access to their own focus tree. Now, this one. And they're immediately doing the industrial effort, which gives us one, two, three military factories and one, two, three, four, four civilian factories. Total of seven factories for free and three dockyards if they ever do this. So pretty neat, in my opinion. Now, when I get political power, I can start justifying on these guys, but I don't have political power. I'm hoping the Chinese will... Oh, Cambodia. Sure. Once again, my manpower is going down because I have those non-core things. And we wouldn't want to release uh, places like Britain because I will utilize this better and the impact of their focus tree will not do much for us. But small countries like Madagascar that have very um, little in terms of factories will actually benefit us greatly. Now, Tunisia. 
We don't want Algeria because this counts as our core state. Tunisia is not our core state, so we can release that. Tunisia, sure, our blessing. Now, having so many of them will slow the game down, which is very annoying. Laos, sure. Mali, why not? Gabon, Chad, Senegal, and so on. You get the gist of it. Mauritania, Tahiti, Vietnam, sure, all of them. Although, I might be making a mistake. This gives us factories there, but it also works if they're subjects, so it's fine. Also, having them as coalition governments is better for resources, because I can just buy steel for almost no money. Eventually, Trotsky assassinated. Oh, problem with this is that my front lines got messed up. Sorry, these guys are not getting called in. Still trying to get... Whoa, why is this going to the Germans? God damn it, Germany. And this is taking too long. But we'll win in the end, and we'll have a nice position to attack the Soviets from. Oh, they were called in. How did I not notice it? Yunnan was not called in, but the Jiangxi clique was. Which is great. Go attack them. I did put enough troops here after all. Did I? Yes, yes I did. Just don't leave the entire area. Don't leave the port undefended. That's all I'm asking you. Samoa, sure. And New Guinea. Should probably send more troops here. This is a promising avenue of attack. Provisional government of China. Interesting. I could use that and just feed Chinese territory to them. That would be useful, wouldn't it? How much manpower am I getting from coalition governments? Now, I usually prefer to do communist China as a collaboration government rather than just China. I have to think about this one. What national spirits will they have if I do this? Let's uh, not do it. It would be better to puppet communist China, feed them territory, and then annex them, stealing their millions of manpower. Because normal China, not communist China, has debuffs to manpower, which China, China does not have. It seems like they are not joining the war, but I'm gonna keep some troops here just in case. Oh, and we're about to kill Iran so I can relocate more troops to China. Zambia, sure! The only problem with these coalition governments is that uh, they slow the game down. Oh, peace deal. I have the most stuff. I could actually take Denmark in this deal. Might be nice to do so. I definitely want this. I really want Colombia. There is some oil here. Not that much. Not that we really care about oil. I'd like to take Iran so that we can attack from there. Afghanistan too. So yeah, that concludes this side. We take all of Iran and Afghanistan. Who else is there? Colombia. Now we can't take more in this round. Let's end the turn. Let's see. Do our frenemies take anything? Not really. I'm gonna pass. And pass. I pass until they take something. Then I can take more in one go. Hmm, you don't want to take anything. Should I take Denmark? You could pop at Denmark. Yeah, let's take all of Colombia. And there's some islands here I'm interested in. Okay, and the turn. Germans still don't take anything. Let's pass. Ah, they took some Denmark. Okay, that leaves me open to take Norway. Who would have thought this was actually beneficial to me? The fact that they, uh, they joined the same faction. Original government, government of China. Um, we talked about this already, didn't we? Not ready yet. Yay, we got stuff. Also, it's time to send more people to China. Is Xinjiang part of the faction? It is, but we're not at war with each other. Let's go aggressive. I need the army experience. Oh no, I don't. I have 500. Eh, let's go aggressive anyway. All my troops go to China. Well, all of the main army. Getting a lot of uh, war contributions here is going to give us a lot of manpower later. Let's check the manpower of our subjects. 400,000 from French Raj. Could use that. 143,000 from French East Indies. Let's leave them alone for now. I suppose I can switch one of the Indies armies into the Raj template. Also, make sure all the templates are the same. This one. Add artillery, signal, engineers and support anti-air. Save and rename it to Indies. The Raj template will receive the same treatment. Oh right, and I forgot to add signal companies to my main template. Now it's all unified. Go, do your thing. Attack the Chinese. And we can reduce the independence of French Raj and Philippines. Should have started with Raj, doesn't matter. No, should have started with East Indies. Regional government, sure. See, this might make me weaker in the short term, but once they start doing the industrial efforts, getting all those factories, I will probably get thousands of factories by the end of this fight. Also, what are my spies doing? Yeah, I should be doing more here, shouldn't I? And become the spy master. Let's do coalition governments. You need a transport plane. How the hell did that happen? We'll have to build up the mm, spy network again after the mission because I only have two agents. Oh, that's fine. Gambia, sure. Oh, the army here must have left the port, which is silly. Don't leave the port. Wait a minute. How the hell did you get here? Yemen, sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose this one as well. Not really an issue, but it is annoying. Egypt and Palestine, sure. Not sure about Egypt though. Let's see, how many factories do we have here? At least two. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, I was careless and let them do their own thing. Oh, you're not taking Hong Kong. That's silly of you, but I'm also happy. Let's see if our guys can get there before you take it. Botswana, sure. I wish those coalition governments didn't slow 
the game down so much. Kingdom of Jordan and Bahamas. Well, not the same kingdom. The Kingdom of Jordan and Bahamas, that would be something. Yeah, and they're about to take Hong Kong. That's fine. Nigeria, Jamaica, sure, and so on and so forth. Now, France Indivisible will give me 10% compliance in other places. Now, I have finished the focus that gives me manpower from non-core territories. It used to be 0.06 something percent. Now it's 0.2, which is actually a lot. So my manpower will go down with those coalition governments, but my factories will go up. So yeah, actually making these coalition governments is not always the best choice for us, but I still think we'll benefit in the long run. Right, let's continue our fight in China. Now, if we did not create all those countries, the game would run a bit smoother. Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Sure, just look at this. This is a country which will get at least seven factories. So you guys did not manage to land your shores, but you did. Okay, good, good, that's something. Having some trouble with supplies, let's take the other port down south and maybe build up the one we have. Romania joins the Axis, that's fine. Well, you guys were going over to China, but their territory was taken over. That's fine. Romanian king abdicates, and that's not a problem. Cameroon. What did I click? Something popped up. As long as it's not Algeria or the United States or Britain, it's fine. It's always pause when I'm doing this. You didn't capture them. Very unfortunate. Did you complete your mission, at least? No. Which means I have to rescue the captured operative, which takes priority. Sadly, my network might decay in the meantime. Yeah, having two spies is just not enough. I need to either be spy master or have an elusive gentleman for this to work. Probably become spy master. Although I could use that political power. Central African Republic, sure. I could use that political power to lower the independence of some of my subjects. Ah, we must wait a bit. No, oh, Italy's taking Gustave. I'm fine with that. Extra compliance and extra non core manpower. Now we're not hurting for manpower. We have a lot. More is always better. And we've pushed north quite nicely. All right, we're getting into China. And now we can receive supplies through here as well. Good. I ran out of places to build stuff in. Let's build some in the Netherlands, because I'm not letting them uh, become coalition governments. Same goes for Spain and Portugal. So I will eventually have 100% compliance here, so I might as well build stuff. Or I could build it for my subjects to lower their independence. Here, have some Raj and have some Philippines. Can I become the spy master now? Yes, I can. It gives me two extra opportunities slots, which is wonderful. I'd like another Russian, please. So many coalition governments. Syria, sure. What is my participation in the Chinese war? 12%. That's enough to get quite a lot of stuff. Jiangxi click capitulates to me. And we continue north. Probably get military access from the Japanese. It'll make things easier. So it'd be nice if we could combine factions. I desperately need more political power. Also, see how slowly the game runs. It's because of all my subjects. I wanted to still defeat the Soviet Union, but with how slowly the game starts to be running, um, I might not. We'll see. Oh, Germany attacks the Soviet Union. I'm not joining that one yet. We have to deal with China first. Increase job the Chinese United Front. Sure, why not? We've completed France Indivisible, which should give us a lot more manpower. See, now we have almost half a percent of the non-core population. If I was not releasing all those coalition governments, we would have huge amounts of manpower. We still have a lot. Right, what else could we do? French Union is not good. Reorganize the Dutch. Is just Netherlands compliance. Don't think it's worth a focus. Let's see how far we are with that compliance. We're at 49% with Belgium, so Netherlands should be very close to that. I do not think it's worth it. I suppose I should probably get the last research thought. Now, each of those focuses will eventually result in two factories. Four, if I do this as well. So the right way to do this if you're not pressed for time is one, two, three, four, five. Six, well, five, six, seven. And then you get eight civilian factories from this and 10 military factories from this. But what's eight and 10 factories for us at the moment? Nothing. So I should probably just do one of these to unlock the uh, research center here. So sure, let's invest in West Africa. Ivory Coast, Guinea. All oh, right, yeah, it gave me 10% compliance in a lot of places, which means provision government of the British Raj, seriously. So I would have French Raj and also collaboration government of the French Raj. I could use that later if I were to annex them and immediately get a coalition government from them, but definitely not now. Congo, Mozambique, Togo, you get the idea. Can't even read them all. Nigeria, Morocco. Just make sure we don't do Algiers or Algeria, Algeria because that's our core territory now. Djibouti, okay, I think that's all of them. Yes, and yes, and yes. I think you get the pattern. There we go. Quite a lot of Collaboration governments. Continuing. These orders are getting messy. Let's redo them all. Yes, I know there's too many of them and they're getting attrition. Not really a problem. They'll manage somehow. Let's do a field marshal level order going from here up north and lower some autonomy. So let's do Raj first. No, actually, let's do East Indies. Yunnan is still not at war with me. Maybe if I pull some troops back, they'll change their mind. Right, spies. Here's Sergei Romanov. Wonderful. Help build up the spy network. Then you can start the mission. Probably shouldn't have released all those coalition governments. 
<laughs> it is the efficient way to do it, but the game slows down so much. Oh, the mission started. Wonderful. Let's see how the Germans are doing against the Soviets. As usual, pretty well. The moment I join, I'll tip the scales of the war and defeat them. But I'm in no rush to do so. Well, I have military access from the Japanese. I would like to fight communist China a bit. That's not pressing. Getting some upgrades to our generals. And the advanced computing machine is complete. 20% did the Chinese war. Let's ignore these, because we need the research slot more than we need the factories. And speaking of factories, see how quickly this is growing. We're very close to capitulating China. I'm hoping to get communist China out of this. They've called Xinjiang in. Actually, I'm bordering Xinjiang, but that shouldn't be a problem. My manpower has grown very significantly. Is that because of all the territories I'm controlling here? It might be. Interesting. <laughs> Doing all this without any military advisors. Yeah, I haven't managed my political power the best, have I? I sent some of them to communist China. Hopefully, controlling the territory myself will let me take them at a lower cost. We'll see. So, this war will be over in a moment. After that, probably Soviet Union. Let's check on the spies. Hmm, you need to go deeper, because the Germans are pushing. And China capitulates. I have the most... No, no, no. Japan has the most points. That doesn't matter, because communist China is up for grabs. I'm going to puppet it. And end the turn. Now, we want to feed communist China as much territory as possible. Is it going to be cheaper to give it to them or to take it ourselves? Depends. Slightly cheaper to take it ourselves if we currently control it. Like here. But this will actually not be taken by the Japanese. That's how the AI is programmed. At least last time I thought China it was the case. So what do we want to do here? Take all the very cheap ones and then these. And then try to connect. But the Japanese will not try to take these territories. They will try to puppet China. But if I puppet them instead with just this one province, the Japanese will not do so. Because the AI is seeking to puppet China and give it this territory. If they can't puppet uh, China and give it this territory, they'll just leave this territory alone. Now, give communist China these. Why am I insisting on having communist China take all the territory and not China? Well, communist China has better manpower laws and doesn't have the debuffs. And I intend to annex them and steal their manpower. It does require a lot of political power to do, and it's fine. Now, if the province is cheaper to take directly, we take it directly. If it's cheaper to give to communist China, we give it to communist China. Then we will return territory to them. This will look really cool after the peace deal. Now, the Japanese got all the coast here, but it's not a problem. I have ports down here. Uh, it's a bit too much. Okay, that's it for this round. <sighs> Beautiful. Now remember, the Japanese don't want this territory, so I can safely give it to my puppet and myself. But we still have some war score left, and Japan is taking Greece. So wonderful. I suppose I will take some Greece as well. How about this bit? The island's a wonderful tourist destination, also I hear. Maybe this as well? No, that's too much. Okay, and the turn. Can I take Thrace? I could. Or Corfu. Let's take Epirus and Corfu. We should puppet Greece. Yeah, that'll be better. But again, puppeting Greece with so little territory. I'll just take it myself. And done. We got what we wanted in this war. And some more. I did not need these territories. I did get them, and Japan has some nice tourist destinations. Now, communist China, my puppet. It's called China, but it, um, it's still communist China. See, what matters is not the name or the ideology, it's the modifiers. Recovery from the Long March, that's fine. Focus on China, division attack, blah blah blah, that's not that important. What's important is that it doesn't have the debuffs. See, I also got this puppet, who's also called China, and it has debuffs. Oh, so it does. Inefficient bureaucracy, recruitable population minus 35%, which is why I prefer this one. Problem is, they are both called China. They have the same flag. Now, I wanted to give territory back to this China. See, they already have 7 million manpower, and they are on service by requirement. This China only has 191,000, and there are limited conscription. This China is superior for my purposes. I should actually gather up political power quickly. Now, let's try to give them back territories. But n n maybe if I unpause, one of them will change its name or something. Let's wait a day or two. Nope, they're both called China. At least they have different colors on the map. Perhaps I'll be able to figure it out by the statistics. Here's China. Oh, I only see one of them is my subject. Yeah, the problem is... Can I zoom in on them somehow? Problem is, if I do return territory, I'm not sure which China it'll go to. Oh, there's another China here. Which one is which? They even have the same flag. Well, I could mm, fix this by annexing this China, and then giving territory back to this China and annexing that. But that would cost 700 political power in total. That's something I can afford right now. Seems like I made a mistake. I should have been feeding it directly to Communist China and not taking it myself. Because I don't know who I'm going to return it to. Okay, let's compare. This is 900,000 manpower, 29% factories, 34% resource gain efficiency. It'll probably be the same up there. 
Yep, exactly the same. I wish I could just cancel subjects. If I go to my subjects, the top China is the wrong China and the bottom China is the right China. Let's give it a go. Return territory to the bottom China. Go, please be the right China. Yes, wonderful. So how much manpower do we have now? 17 million. Let's wait a day. Yep, could be better. But I think it's pretty pretty great and I'm gonna get all that manpower. Now it's gonna cost me is quite a lot of convoys and 350 political power. Now let's deploy some more troops to make sure we can absorb that manpower. A thousand should be sufficient. Actually it's overkill, I don't need that many. Oh, let's deploy them here. More factories, some military ones too. Is it time to beat up the Soviets yet? Uh, most probably. Two army groups should do it. Reorganize the armies, exercise a bit and set yourselves up to attack the Soviets. Let's have a look at our equipment situation as well. Yeah, definitely needs some adjustment, doesn't it? 50 on this, cancel the transport planes completely. 20, 30, 20, maybe even 60 here. That should do it, more or less. Also, this China is getting quite a lot of land lease soon. Here you go, a thousand convoys for you, in exchange for your wonderful manpower. Let's make sure we invade the Soviets from all sides. Infrastructure will be a bit of an issue, I will have to work on that. But our industrial base is so large that it won't be a problem for long. Go to level 6 infrastructure all around the area. Are there enough ports in the area? Ah, just in case, boost this. So China, I suppose I should build them up as well. Maybe create a path to the ports down here and prioritize all that infrastructure. Good. Oh, you guys already have your orders. I need to cancel that. I started giving them new orders and didn't cancel the old ones. I'll probably need to justify on Mongolia separately. Get in position, everyone. German Reich grants Bulgarian occupation. That's interesting. Does it only apply to the territories held by the Germans themselves or to the entire faction, I wonder? Only Germans themselves, it seems. Otherwise, the Italian territories here would be taken. Right, guys, get in position. Agent captured. And we have the best guns now. I will rescue the capture operative, prepare the mission, do not launch it yet. I'm going to wait for them to return from the collaboration government thingy. So I'm better anti-air. Kingdom of Heaven, sorry, Hawaii. In hindsight, I probably should have done the research thoughts earlier, much earlier, before the economy and stuff like that, or these. Fifth research thought, finally. Oh, my building of infrastructure is already contributing quite a lot to their independence. Good, we want that to happen. We're gonna have so much manpower. How much do you have? 17 million, good. What was justifying on me, really? Japan, but we have a non-aggression pact. Can you really do that or are they gonna attack the Philippines? Mm, I should prepare to attack the Japanese. Cancel your order and you go to the Philippines. Prepare for the naval invasions. Deploy all those tiny units that will serve to steal Chinese manpower. How many did we deploy? A thousand. That's gonna be sufficient. Stop training more. And lower the independence of China. They're now a more puppety puppet. Now if I am to fight Japan, I could return this territory to China for even more manpower. Let's take our fleet. Or maybe let's just combine all our fleets. Can I do that easily? Well, not quickly or easily, but I can do that. All right, commence the rescue. Of Kiev already. I haven't even joined yet. Looks like I'm going to need to change my economy a bit as I end up buying a lot of steel from the outside. Merge all the fleets. Also relocate to the Philippines. What's your biggest port? Manila. Oh, these guys actually survived the war. Ha! <laughs> never realized. The first war with the British. Might not even need to send them convoys. With all the building we're doing. 840 factories already. I'm going to make an elite template that I'll use for naval invasions of Japan. Let's make it 40 with, with some artillery. We'll be able to power drop if I just add a power trooper to it. I think I have some anti-tank scavenged. Maybe let's add one anti-air and one anti-tank, because why not? And some more infantry. Ah, damn it. Didn't save. Again. Seems like actually adding anti-tank with the level of equipment that I have is making the unit worse. How about anti-air. It's making it a bit better. Don't really need the anti-air here, but yeah, why not? That'll do it. So you guys who are going to be doing naval invasions, switch to that template. This one army should take out the entirety of Japan for me, because I am expecting the Japanese to attack. Of course I could make it better by adding tanks, or just make it be tanks, but I can't be bothered. I don't like using tanks, because you have to worry about oil. Yes, I know they are powerful, but I prefer infantry. This should be able to deal with Japan. As for the Navy, I will give them orders at the appropriate time, but I don't want to waste fuel. On the other hand, I have lots of fuel. Yeah, I can just use them once Japan attacks, if they ever do. Oh, he's missing some troops. Let me fix that. Now, I'm going to need to not take a focus for a little while in order to be able to annex China. Ideally, I'd want to do it before fighting the Soviet Union. That is not necessary. I can wait a bit, I suppose, because if the Japanese attack me, having, uh, you know, China take their territory before I annex them, it would give me even more 
settlement part. So perhaps I will give them some more time. Maybe even cancel my non-aggression pact with the Japanese if I can. Nope. I mean, it's not necessary. They attack the Philippines, it won't matter. I will cancel uh, military access. I could have all the 66 of them, though. But um, I don't want to overuse it. Oh, the Japanese have cancelled their non-aggression pact. They might actually be thinking of attacking me after all. Curious. We could do French Union, but we would just lose some territory if we do. We would also gain some cores, which would eventually lead to having more total manpower. But manpower is not a problem. So what's left for us? Um, we're finally going to do rearmament. I think it's about time to get involved with the Soviets. Call to arms. Okay, Soviet Union, Mongolia, Tanutuva, and Yunnan. Uh, yes, I will accept. Oh, Yunnan. Yunnan is still in this. Really? We have some troops here. Ah, oh, the Raj and the Germans will deal with it. I'll accept in a moment. Let's just stop the training and activate all the orders. Let's make sure our guys recover at least some of the organization before we send them against the Soviets. Okay, let's send them against the Soviets. Should I call in all of my subjects? Like, all of them. Oh, we can assume leadership of our faction. That would be nice, wouldn't it? We can become the leader of the Axis. And kick Germany if we so choose. I will probably want to do it. But that political power. I wanted to use it on China. Let's leave it be for now. Make sure to call in French Raj. And also China. Go. Moving in. Uh, why are you not attacking? Did I not activate your orders? <laughs> I did not activate your orders. Yeah, that, that can be a problem. Yes, that's better. Let's ignore the fact that we can take over the Axis, because it's not really worth the political power at the moment, and focus on our coalition government happening. Already in Mongolia. Oh yeah, you can train. You and the ones that are getting ready to beat up Japan. Did you get your reinforcements? Some reinforcements. Oh, surely you got all your equipment just didn't get the manpower yet. That's fine. These troops are going to be amazingly powerful. Full of Leningrad. Yeah, that's what they're going to fall. I would like to have a lot of contribution here. We'll see if we have that. 900 factories. Oh, and you non Uh Can I please get that? Where's my China puppet? Which is it? China, Yunnan, and China, of course, here. But I should probably just take it myself. I remember it's the second one. God damn it. The Germans puppeted them. Yeah, well, at least I did get some territory out of this. Let's return territory to the second China. Should be the correct one. Yes. So are the Japanese going to attack me or not? Because now they're asking for the non-aggression pact again. They have a non-aggression pact with my faction leader, so I cannot attack them. I could attack... Nope, I can't attack their subject either. Say I'm allied with you yet. Not yet, no. Well, I just have to take over the faction and attack them afterwards. If they don't attack me. Do you have a war goal on me yet? You have a war goal on the Philippines. And the Japanese AI can be really stupid, so they might still attack me even though I'm ready to crush them. You'll have to give me military access back. I might just order 66 of them after all. Nah, we'll keep that for more important targets. If we ever choose to do it. Volunteer. No. You know what we should do? We should take over the Axis, kick the Germans and the Italians out of it while still at war, get military access from them, station troops there, and then on to 66 them. Because, well, that many of you have complained about all the 66 that's overpowered and cheating and whatever, but they haven't used it in a very long time. I mean, used it properly. So I'm very tempted to do a big bang with it. Yeah, China can wait. Let's do that. Assume leadership of the Axis. The French. Oh, Japan attacked Philippines. Really? Uh, did that invalidate the pact with the faction leader. Interesting. All right, let's kill them. Where's my massive fleet? 360 ships. Rebalance and whatnot. Patrol this and this and this and this and this and this. As it happens, my naval invasions should launch and will kill Japan. There we go. You guys not reached the appropriate sea zones yet. Yeah, you have not reached them yet. I mean, the Japanese will provide some resistance, but they should be no match for us. Our fleet is huge after all. It would be much easier to, uh, um, you know, invade them from for the Vostok. But we haven't beaten the Soviets yet. Why are you guys behaving so weird? Is that because there's naval battles going on? Just don't repair. Maybe I should have a few smaller fleets. Just assign them to one zone. Hold what you're doing. Return to port. And we'll reorganize you there. I'll actually need to return to port though. You patrol this. You patrol this. And so on. And the whole rest of you just take this one because there was a lot of Japanese ships in the area. How about that? Is that gonna work for you guys? Right, seems like I need to send some more here. We can deal with that. Some more submarines. How about now? Oh, a lot of you are here. It's gonna take you a while, isn't it? Well, unfortunately, I'm not in a big rush. I just don't call China in, so there's no fighting here. Right, the green here. Green here. Now I just need the South China Sea. And we should launch. Should I kick the Germans yet? A great proclaims Greater Hungary. What will I do? Oh, the invasions are launching. Wonderful. Well, not all of them, but enough of them. This should suffice. We have begun rearmament. Now we can choose aggressive focus for a nice army leader, or defensive focus for better bonuses here. Production costs for artillery and military equipment and all that. All this for some doctrine bonuses, which is probably the best thing we can get here. So while the chief of army is tempting, I'll just do defensive focus for the doctrine bonuses. Hmm, just this one is actually going. But if we get the port, it won't matter. We'll kill them regardless. No, actually more than one. 
get these two. Seriously, you have enough ships to counter me here. I guess I could plan this better, but it's not that important. I'm gonna kick the Germans from the Axis, because I can. Now I'm going to ask them for military access, so that I can do all the 66 on them, because I can. Should I do the same to the Italians? Yes, yes I should. What's the next thing we're gonna do? Well, we're gonna garrison Germany and Italy. But we don't need to be in a rush about it. There's still some time before the Soviets fall. Think. All right, let's do it now. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be doing colonial templates from China anyway. I should probably just do them now and use them to garrison Germany and Italy. Excellent idea, if I say so myself. We're gonna need 360 units. And the Chinese template from this China. 20 with pure infantry would be preferable. Here we go. This is wonderful. Copy. Uh, let's not call it Chinese infantry. Let's call it maybe no trademarks. Unspecified Chinese company delivery drivers. UCCDD for short, if you're into that sort of thing. And something inconspicuous. Picuous. Is there a delivery truck here? The symbol for motorized should be here. That doesn't matter. Delivery trucks use wheels. A wheel is inconspicuous, isn't it? Here we go. Unspecified Chinese company delivery drivers. Wonderful. These 360 units are going to become that. Although first we want to organize them into armies of 72 each. Can we give you a field marshal at least? Yes, Maxime. Garrison Italy. You also garrison Italy. And the three remaining armies garrison Germany. Just the cores. That'll do it. Also, let's modify the template. Make sure it's a reserve one. I can switch them to it immediately. Uh, some units are encircled and cut off from supply. Oh, how did that happen? Where did I leave your units? Probably you. It'll be fine. Okay, can I switch you now? I have military access, so going there should be possible. Oh, some might be in Hungary. Yeah, that's it. Now they want back into the faction. Probably not. Should I kick Hungary too? Let them make their own faction. Should I just let them in? Now I'll kick everyone. Okay, Hungary and Romania and Bulgaria. I'm dismantling the allies from the inside. Sorry, the axis. And if I cancel the faction, I'll lose the spymaster thing, won't I? I already did. I mean, at least the numbers from it. It's not that important, though. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dismantle the axis from the inside. The best way to get rid of a faction. Just dismantle it from the inside. I wonder if Germany will make a new faction now. Guaranteeing the independence of Turkey. And Turkey still has this guy. It's gonna take forever to justify a world on them. Yeah, I guess I can at least try. Oh, my naval invasion on Japan. Oh, they've landed. I should probably pay attention to that then, shouldn't I? <laughs> Maybe stop exercising them in Japan. Ah, uh, yeah. You guys just attack. Let's wait for the last naval invasions to land and then I can give them proper orders. This one's occupied, so they're not gonna land there. This one didn't launch. All right, let's cancel all the orders and paint proper ones. We have three ports, 24 units in an army, which makes it equal to put eight in each port. First, let's paint these orders and then assign new units to them. All right, everybody go and activate and so on. Just don't leave the ports undefended. The tutorial syncang has capitulated. I didn't really do anything there, did I? <laughs> Not a problem. Shouldn't Germany or Italy create their own faction now? I probably should have just left the axis rather than take it over and kick them. And it was funnier that way. My organization here is pretty low. Do I? No. Okay, I'll let them repair, but not too much. We left the port undefended, which might be an issue. Maybe go back there quickly. Well, all these guys are on the way, so maybe they'll land in time. Oh, I got pushed out of Hiroshima. Surprising. At least I hold Tokyo. We can probably advance from there. Fall of Moscow. Yeah, that's not gonna take long now. So are you guys gonna manage to kill the Japanese or not? It would be real nice if you did. Here, there. Reinforce the port. Oh, and they're not attacking the port, so we'll be fine. Mongolia capitulates. So why are you guys not managing to push? Do you have supplies? You should have supplies. Supplies. Guess I can build up the ports a bit. Probably not the matter of ports. This is counterintuitive. They should be able to push. So I could send another army here. If necessary, maybe. Because we could do without this one. Oh, better idea. Just get some rash troops. 18 of them will be fine. Maybe if I put on balance, it'll be better. Why are you attritioning? Bad supply. Supply looks pretty good to me. Maybe I made them too big. The units, I mean. Let's let them get some organization before they attack. Maybe I really need to send more troops to Japan. Yeah, this one seems unnecessary here. Cancel the orders. Move over to Japan. Japan. Can take them all together. I will want to call this China in, but I don't need to do it immediately. No, Germany is gonna make a new faction. Can they even make a new faction? At least surely can. Ah, we'll see. We'll see after the war. Oh, East Indies increased their independence again. Well, I am using their manpower a lot. How are you guys doing? Not as well as I would hope. Here, do some manual stuff. That's looking better. Even a Raj increased their independence. I mean, it's not very important. Just have to keep it in check. We finished the second collaboration government against the Soviet Union. We are at 60% cooperation. Now, since I dismantled an old defection, I only have two spies left. I probably will not be able to do a third collaboration government, but we can try. Right to the north of Japan is mine. Ah, more troops are arriving. Good. Let's do methodical battle to get 
get some land doctrine bonuses. And finally, we're making gains. Yeah, I should have made this invasion bigger and more concentrated. It's fine. We'll win eventually. Should win against Japan and the Soviet Union in about the same time. Now, for the units that I sent to garrison the Germans and the Italians, can I switch your template yet? Where's the Chinese? Unspecified Chinese company delivery drivers. Change the division template to unspecified Chinese company delivery drivers. Yes, I would like that. If you guys can exercise in the meantime, that would be nice as well. They are on reserve, so they will be the last to receive the equipment. I am producing a lot of said equipment though, so it will be okay. Just need to buy some steel. If I can find enough steel, because I have most of the steel and I'm selling it all. Oh, wait a minute, I should probably do global integration, that's resource gain efficiency, and to research some excavation that will fix the issue. Oh, I have already researched the excavation, never mind. Oh, the Soviet Union should be capitulating soon. Yes, 99% was capitulation. Mm, so yeah, it will take a bit longer to kill Japan. Oh, it's capitulating now. Straight into the peace conference. And the Germans have more participation than I do, and I've kicked them from the faction and dismantled the faction, in fact, so I can't get the territory for cheap. But then what I can do is get a Soviet puppet who will be able to get the territory for cheap. So that's what I'm going to do. And also annex Mongolia. And turn two. And turn. Pass a bit, not too much, and feed the Soviet puppet. Now, if I can feed them enough territory to, you know, separate them from the Germans, maybe they didn't even need to pass. If they can theoretically release someone from the Soviet Union, they shouldn't be able to take the territory themselves. All right, now take as much as we can. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I should start here, because they sometimes release countries in the area. Now, what am I doing? I was supposed to keep some of it for myself, directly. Now, it's gonna look better this way. And done, and done. We got the Soviet subject out of this with quite a lot of territory. The less developed part of territory, still, Quite a lot of it. Who's the ruler of Russia? Dmitry Golivin. Ah, good enough. How much manpower do you have? 7 million. They can do a lot with 7 million. Oh, I did not check the factories. 117 factories. That's actually a decent number. They can be helpful later on. So, now, the Germans have been kicked from my faction. And I have military access. And I have troops in their territory. So if they attack me, I win. But will they attack me? Do they have a war goal on me? They do. No, I have a war goal on them. Sorry. Misinterpretation. They're guaranteeing Japan. I'm already at war. Japan, Italy, and Turkey. Attacking Turkey would be perfect, but justifying war on them takes forever. Don't really see an alternative right now, so let's just do that. Oh, that's different. Germany has just joined the Japanese faction, which means I need to secure my border against them. We should have done that a bit earlier. Uh, you stop your training, you're about to kill people. Paratroopers, do I need the paratroopers? No, I don't. Okay, let's make another entire army. I'm running out of generals. Right, then these dudes that were invading the Soviet Union can actually quickly travel over here. It's probably not going to be quick enough, though. It would be quite funny if I got capitulated now, wouldn't it? But the Germans... They shouldn't join the war immediately. They do have troops here, though, so who knows? We'll see. Guys, get here quick. The Germans should have some troops in my territory, don't they? No, I don't think they do. All right, then. Let's fortify our border quickly with all that we can muster. Perhaps we'll manage to do it in time. All right, sending troops. Hopefully they get there quickly enough and get some reinforcements, because otherwise we can get killed by Germany. On the other hand, I I have garrisoned the entirety of Germany and the entirety of Italy. So if they decide to join the war, they'll get capitulated by me immediately, I think, which would be wonderful. Let's see what happens. The Russians want to send me land lease. Sure. See, I have military access in Germany. If I attack them, all my troops will get teleported home. If I attack their subjects, my troops will get teleported home. If I attack someone they're guaranteeing and they join the war, that's fine. And if they join a war I'm already fighting, that's also fine. So if they join this war right now, I should, in theory, capitulate them almost immediately. Need some more places to put factories in. Right, because I'm not letting this territory go. I can also build some in my subjects' territories to lower their independence. Here we go. Raj, have some factories. And the Philippines too. Oh, I'm trying to enable invade the Philippines, Japan. Well, there's something more pressing happening here, it seems. Yeah, Japan will be Japan. So, how's it going, Germany? Are you gonna attack me or not? They joined the Japanese faction, so that suggests they want to fight me. But it's not a certainty. Wunderwaffe. Yeah, that's not gonna help you. We have delivery drivers. In a year, once I have a war goal on Turkey, they should join in the defense of Turkey. That's getting killed by me anyway. Hmm, 1,000 factories. So how are we doing in Japan? Very well, actually. Although at this point, now that I have actually prepared myself, I would like the Germans to fight me. Though I think they probably want to secure the border with the Russians before they do anything like that. I can use that as a distraction. But they actually want to fight them. So let's just get our troops home. How far is Japan from capitulation? Still far. 
Earth is going well, very well in fact. So well that I might be calling China in now. Yeah, they're retreating their forces from here. Call to arms, let them have their territory. Okay, that's some bonuses two doctrines. Oh, I can't do this one, that's a pity, because these are all but useless. Although I suppose extending the marginal line and now wouldn't be that stupid, even though I have taken Belgium and the Netherlands. This would be better, but I wanted the doctrine bonuses. Manguko. Yeah, I just need to wait for Japan to be defeated. More interested in what Germany is about to do. What can I do? I can reduce the independence of French Raj. Nah, Germany, you're very slow in your decision making, it seems. We just not have enough troops. They don't seem to want to fight me. Why did you join the Japanese faction then? Although, you know what? They have joined the Japanese faction. They have not joined the war. That means, once I defeat Japan and the next them, Germany will not be in the peace conference and Germany will inherit the East Asian uh, something cooperative. Who knows, maybe they'll even get Italy and Hungary and Romania back into their faction. Oh, I think Japan will be capitulating very soon. We're almost done with them. Shouldn't have attacked me. How long until I have my war on Turkey? Long. And Japan capitulates. Okay, what do we do? We have China in the war. I'm just gonna give them stuff. Um, I'm gonna pass a lot of times here. Make sure we have enough points for everything. So yeah, China, you're getting this and all of that. You'll have so much manpower. Korea. I'll just take it myself. I could pop the Japan because they can be very aggressive with their naval invasions and stuff like that, but I don't think I want to. Okay, I think that's everything that goes to China. Let's end the turn. Pass, 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 pass. There go states. Done. Wonderful. Italy joined the German. <laughs> So I have dismantled the Axis, Germany joined the Japanese faction, and they have taken over the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. I have destroyed Japan, the leader of the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Germany has once again become the leader of its own faction, in that case the Co-Prosperity Sphere, and Italy immediately joins it too. Slovakia and Yunnan Free Empire are in it as well. I wonder if Hungary or Romania join, or Bulgaria. Greater Hungary, that's wonderful. I can just justify on them then. 185 days, let's cancel Turkey, and immediately justify on Hungary, Transdanubia. That's gonna be brilliant. We're gonna be able to kill them faster. And Romania. So the Axis is reformed under a different name. Oh, right, and these troops are not needed here anymore. Should I send even more to France or should I attack them from the other side? Is there enough to withstand their attack here? Also, you guys have not been switched to a better template. That's a pity. Let's maybe do that. Yeah, let's just bring them to our own territory. Our main attack force is our delivery drivers. And if they fail, I can just push from here. Although I should maximize the infrastructure in the area. That's a bit better. All oh, right, I almost forgot. Now I have Russia. You can give me steel. Apparently I still need it from Germany as well. How are you doing with these guns? I still need more. Let's see how much manpower China has. 41 million manpower. I can probably... Can I take all of it? I'll need to modify the templates. Yes, yes I can. <laughs> That's simply wonderful. You guys should probably get your orders sorted, shouldn't you? These orders are very carefully planned. I absolutely did not just do this. No, no, no. Or this. Not even this. Yeah, who am I kidding? It's random. Of course it's random. I'm putting a lot of troops on the border. And that's pretty much it. Just a thousand factories. Yeah, I'm gonna need that Chinese manpower soon. I wonder how the delivery drivers will do in this situation. This seems very promising. I think they'll manage to crush Germany in one fell swoop. As well as Italy. And then I'll have to mop up the rest of the Greater East. Asian co-prosperity sphere. The real question is, should I annex China before that happens? Meticulously crafted battle plans. Oh, yeah, I can extend the marginal line. Can I do it yet, or will I get it later? Um, new provisional government, of course. Bulgaria attacked Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia exists. Oh, can I? Uh, no, Bulgaria is not in the faction. I was thinking of getting Yugoslavia into my faction, which I would need to create with them. Right, I think it's time to annex China, don't you think? What if I switched all of you, all 900 units, to the unspecified template thing? Let's see how much manpower I would drain from China by doing this. I don't think enough. 42 million. Let's see what happens. Went down to 32 million. Not nearly enough. Have been transferred. All right, all right, all right. I can do better. Let's duplicate this template. Call it just manpower and fill it up with infantry. All of it. Also, let's give it some support. Which one has the most manpower? Recon's fine. This'll do. Switch them all to it. Manpower. How about now, China? Can I drain everything from you? Probably give it some more time to tick, because it doesn't all go in the initial one usually. No, still not enough. All right, all right, I'm on it. Let's switch these ones that are in Germany and Italy to that manpower bit as well. On pause, still not enough. Well, I still have all these armies, don't I? Can switch them too. I oh, can switch you because some of you are expeditionary forces. No problem. I mean, they'll lose their experience, which is very unfortunate. Maybe doing it to them will be sufficient. Oh, and the paratroopers too. Just add them to the main one. How about now, China? 
then. 11 million, can I drain that? Down to 3 million. Still need a bit more. I'm not gonna just leave 3 million manpower on the table. So um, yeah, you guys need to switch as well. You'll lose your experience, but so be it. Uh, that should bring them to zero. 500,000. I switch absolutely everyone. Okay, seems like I didn't have enough to drain all of the Chinese manpower. Let's just verify that I haven't missed anything. Ah, I did miss something. There's some not switched units here. These guys, the elite ones. Okay, down to 100,000 manpower that I wasn't able to steal from them. That's a pity, but I'll have to live with this. I could have received more manpower from the action I'm about to complete. Click, then take a moment. And here we go. Now I can switch them back to the template I want them to be. Just the regular infantry division template. And you to just the, uh, where's the delivery driver company thing? Unspecified Chinese company delivery delivery drivers. You go to the small one. Uh, where is it? One of the bird. Petit. Here you go. And that's it. And my manpower, as you might notice right now, is going up while these units switch. Still going up. You will notice that China is no more. Well, there is a small China here, but this China is no more. Oh, manpower is still growing. 36 million. How high will it go? How high? 41 million manpower. Wonderful, isn't it? So wonderful. Now, of course, this leaves my troops without experience, mostly. But well, they'll be fine. How are we doing on logistics? Very well, actually. Good. Nothing to complain about. I think we're ready to crush the Germans and the Italians. Once our war goal's ready. Suppose I should probably exercise my units while we're still not fighting the Germans. Not the delivery drivers. We'll really need to exercise them. Also, it'll take too long. Alright, I should be de deciphering Germany and sending my spies there. I won't have enough time for a Kalboshian government or anything like that, but I should have sent them here right after the Soviets were defeated. Oh, I'm out of stuff to build. Should I build forts? Probably won't be necessary, but why not? I think there's some decisions to extend the marginal line, since I've selected the, the appropriate focus. But I have these decisions yet. Although even if there are, it's probably going to cost me political power and just building level 10 forts is nothing to me. With factories, but with political power, it would cost a bit. I should probably fortify myself against naval invasions. Nah, it's fine. Some entire as well, because why not? It's not gonna be necessary, I think, because we'll defeat them instantly with our delivery drivers. Ah, uh, just in case. Our compliance here is not very high. Look at that. One billion country population. We've captured an Italian. Malta gets their own government. Is Russia gonna participate? Hmm. And Cyprus? Sure, Cyprus gets their own as well. Uh, the Germans are trying to fortify the border with Russia. I'm gonna build some factories in Russia and then reduce their independence a bit. Hungary claims Slovakia. Fine. Alpine forts. Oh, we get free forts. I wonder, would they mm, increase my fort level over 10? Probably not. It's an event, not a decision to extend the machine. And that's fine. But I think it's time to stop the exercise. You guys get ready to fight. Maybe flip to balanced. Might want to push. Probably not right away. Ah, shock and awe. 89 days with the bonus and the experience. Justification is complete. Time to destroy. Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. I think we're ready. Let's declare war on Hungary. Not calling anyone in. Now they should call Germany in, and Italy in, and Romania and Bulgaria if they joined? Yes, just Romania. And that will activate my Order 66 setup, which I haven't used in a long time and I'm very eager to see in action. Italy has been called in. As you can see, our troops are already fighting on Italian ground. They're stationed here. See, because I sent them here having military access, I did not attack Italy. They joined one of the wars I was in, which is fundamentally different from the game's perspective. If I attacked Italy myself, the troops would be teleported back to me, but I did not. I attacked Hungary. So um, yeah, let's activate the orders against Italy. Although, I'm guessing they'll capitulate soon, even without that. Rome is currently not under my occupation, but it should be soon, because my troops are actually quite strong. I put a lot of them in here. They're just infantry, but they're very strong infantry, with lots of equipment. Now I just need Germany to join the war. Come on, Germany. Romania has been called in, not um, the country I wanted. Germany might be reluctant, Oh, Slovakia has joined, okay. Germany might be reluctant because they can't secure the border with Russia properly, I guess? I don't know, they should be accepting the call to arms soon. Well, we're about to take Italy. Rome is surrounded by my troops, and I hold most of the other victory points as well. Now, you guys might want to focus on Palermo. Sorry, Palermo is mine already, just want this bit here. Italy will be capitulating shortly. Come on, Germany, your turn. Seriously, Germany, do you like me this much? You're going to betray our entire faction. Well, Rome, here we go. Italy capitulates. Time to reorganize the forces a bit. Bulgaria is not involved. I don't want to beat Hungary or Romania yet. Probably not activate those orders. I guess I can push a little bit into their territory. So, um, Germany? How about now? Do you want to join me in this little war of ours? Maybe they think my border with them is too well defended. What if I take all of these troops and just pull them back for a moment? Well, let's give them a couple more days. I could fight them normally, but where's the fun in that? Strikes. Sure. Propaganda. Oh, I can do a logistics wizard on this guy. Sure. Oh, come on, Germany. Not that 
strong. I mean, I am. Let's select all of these guys, except the ones that went uh, to the Balkans, which is this one and this one and this one. Okay, and pull them back for a moment. This should make Germany feel powerful and have them join the war against me. Of course, I will lose some territory and my wonderful forts if they decide to fight now that I'm not defending the border. It is a sacrifice that we have to um, try and make for the greater good and whatnot. Seriously, Germany, I've got no troops on your border. Okay, I'll pull these back too as well. The only troops on your border are already inside it. You should probably try and justify on Turkey once again or just attack Germany outright. Seriously, Adolf, don't be such a wimp. We both know I'm gonna win, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't fight. Seems like I'm gonna have to attack them and just defeat them with my regular forces. He hasn't even garrisoned uh, the southern border, like, at all. Probably send more guys there. Okay, seems like the Germans are not joining. Let's push into Romania. Extension of the Maginot Line, sure. Army reform. He's seriously not going to fight me. Huh, okay. If I wanted to justify on Turkey, now that I'm at war with those major countries and all that. 405 days, that's disgusting. Probably should have just declared on Italy instead. Integrate war economies? Oh, that's perfect. That's gonna make them Germany's puppets. That'll probably make them be involved in the war. Though I'm not sure if my troops will get teleported or not. Where are you moving off? Yeah, let's wait for them to finish the focus. I guess I can justify war on, on them in the meantime. Maybe now that I'm justifying, they'll join anyways. I don't know. There's one thing I could do. I could just attack some random countries and then they would have a high chance of joining Germany and maybe calling them in. No, that doesn't work. Oh, you have a provisional government. Cool. I justified on you. Nope. About you. Seriously, Germany, you're leaving your allies without any help. I mean, I'm not really pushing into them very hard. But still, you need in the army again. Am I justifying the war goal? Oh, I don't need to justify a war goal. I have a war goal. But I'm gonna justify one on the puppet of yours. Here, Yunnan. Sure. If I want to attack them directly, I would need to pull my troops back from there. I'm still counting on them coming into the war and letting me use all the 66 on them. And I'm gonna wait until their focus integrate war economies is complete, because this should make Romania and Hungary their puppets. And by making Hungary and Romania their puppets, I'm not sure if they'll immediately... Yeah, I think they'll automatically join the war. I'm not sure if my Order 66 will work, because I have technically attacked their puppet, even though it wasn't their puppet yet. I guess we will see. I guess I can launch a collaboration government against them. Why not? Yeah, integrate war economies is a very powerful focus, but I'm hoping it will work against Germany this time. And we have finished our army reform. Well, better late than never. Now our doctrines will be researched quickly. Seriously though, Germany, come on. Come on, man. I know I have more troops and I'm everywhere around you, but still, you can handle it. Just fight me. Oh, they finished the focus. Are you their puppet yet? Or did you change the focus? Yeah, they're a puppet. Did that invalidate my war? God damn it. That invalidated my war. Huh. I'm just gonna take all states from Italy. All right, what do we do now? Maybe you guys want to attack me on your own? You probably don't. Will they get rid of this guy? What path are you going down? Probably not. Okay, so Adolf just messed with my plans. I was hoping this would hasten the war, but it did the exact opposite. I think I'll just have to attack him normally and see what happens. Which means I need to withdraw all of these forces. I'm going to withdraw them into Russia and leave them on the garrison order that they currently have. Well, no, not the ones in Italy. Put them on garrison orders for Germany. And garrison orders are not perfect for attacking. Actually, they're very far from perfect for attacking. But um, it's good for harassment. Anyway, all of you, just go deep into Russia and then attack from that side. No, you can't attack from Russia because I don't want Russia to be involved in the war. Change of plans? All of you, go into Italy. Deep into Italy. Well, the deepest you can go. Original government of Canada. Huh, sure. They crashed my game. No. Okay, do I still have troops in German territory? I don't. Oh well, I didn't want to do it this way, but... Seems like no Order 66 is happening. Activate all the orders. Go. Halt the garrisons. Attack. Oh, now Hungary joins. Well, yeah, they're a puppet now, so they have to. Still, let's see if our troops are actually any good. I have invested a lot into them. Advanced fire bases. Oh, I did not select a new national focus. What an omission. I'm gonna not take a focus because I wanna see what this does. We are advancing from the Netherlands and Belgium quite a lot. Not from the south, though. Are those huge amounts of garrisons actually gonna do anything? Not likely, but they can try. Oh, factories need to be doing something. The funny thing is, I'm still on partial mobilization. Had much more pressing matters, had better things to do with that political power. Well, at least we seem to be advancing very nicely from here. I can see why the Germans didn't want to fight us. We're doing better than I thought we would. We didn't actually need the Order 66, although I do love it so much. Ah, anti-tank. That's gonna boost us. Also, I have all the research I want, pretty much, apart from the last two doctrines. We can still upgrade ourselves a bit. How's the equipment? Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Pushing everywhere. It'll be even better once we get shock and awe, and 
I am on balanced everywhere because we don't want to have our losses too high. This is also quite helpful because the Germans have to garrison the Russian border because they don't know if I'll attack from there. And I'm not attacking from there, I'm just uh, distracting them and making sure they don't have as many troops on this border here. Let's have a look at our losses. Oh, it's actually pretty good. I lost two and a half times as much as they did. That is actually pretty decent. I could also call Russia in and have the Germans exert themselves by going into Russia. I might do that if we stall, but we're not stalling yet. We're still pushing very effectively, actually. We've been pushed through the Maginot, and they have that fortified as well. Much more difficult against Hungary and Romania, but that's not important because they're puppets. If I defeat Germany, I conquer everyone, even pushing in the south. The fact that we've gathered up equipment for so long means we have huge reserves and all our troops are fully equipped all the time. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. I have an air force. Where is it? Here, have an air force. Maybe we should deploy some more planes. Here, what do we have? Fighters. French Raj has increased its independence. It does not matter. About here, do we have any more fighters? Yes, we stole them from someone. Here, have a thousand fighter air wing. Well, Berlin, and I missed it. Well, good. Didn't need that on the 66 after all. Although, I miss it, which is why I need to do it from time to time. It's the favorite export I've ever invented. Did my mission with the coalition government start? Yes, it did, but I don't think it will manage to finish. How far are they from capitulation? 77% towards capitulation. Close, but it will still take a little bit of time. We need some major victory points. They have Vienna and Salzburg and Munich. Well, München if you prefer. Well, we'll exhaust them eventually. We are pushing all the time. I suppose I could go to aggressive, but there's no need for it. It's not like we're in a hurry. We're about to partially surround Vienna by the cannon. Right, can you guys just uh, take Vienna for me? And you attack it from the back. Yeah, looks like they can take Vienna for me. So we look at the battle. Charles de Gaulle and now Henri. Looking good. Vienna is mine. Is that enough? Probably not. No, but we're close now. 91%. Where's the capital now? In Munich. Let's focus on it. Oh, I know what I should do. I should call all my puppets in. There's quite a lot of them, you see. Have a look here. And we go, 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 and they're all here. So, um, is there a call all button? I don't see one. Should I call them one by one? Now, let's do that. Hmm. I'm calling them all, and in the meantime, I might win the war. Let's just pause for the calls. Okay, I've called them all. Now, for the most satisfying bit of calling so many puppets, we just press enter and hold. That's a lot of notifications. This means Wonderful. Now, how about we finish this? There's a lot of you here. Several million. Just focus on Munich. And that'll do it. That'll be the end of the war. Let's have a look. Yeah, Germany didn't stand a chance. Not against such detailed battle plans as seen here. Did it crash? Or are they just capitulating? Yep, German Reich has capitulated. Wonderful. Also, amount of stuff to build. Here, let's build some in Africa. Oh no, I actually finished the technology so I can get more here. So, um, yeah, there should be a peace conference right about next midnight. Let's wait for it. I should probably still annex Russia. It's gonna look better. At my peace conference. Greater Hungary. But you're a puppet, aren't you? Yeah, no matter. I'll just have to kill them. Here, have a field marshal level order. Just do stuff. Aren't you a puppet? Oh, they might have broken free because of all the contributions they did in the war. Communists relent. Wait a minute. Communist influence. I had a national spirit. Communist influence. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Huh. They banned communism, so it shouldn't do anything. Yeah, and I never managed to get out of partial mobilization. Oh, wait a minute. I should be annexing Russia, shouldn't I? Let's lower their independence. Do you want some convoys? Everybody loves convoys. Here, have 2,000. There you go. So, how about that Hungary surrendering? Let's get all those garrison armies and just direct them to Hungary manually. Who cares about supply? They'll find something to eat. And there's more troops in this army than the entire population of the country they're invading, I think. And I did not manage to fill out the doctrine. At least not completely. And here it is. Here's the peace conference. See, what I'm gonna do is pass a few times and then take all states from everything. Slovakia, take all states. Romania, take all states. Hungary, same. Just like it. Take all states. Can't do that to Yunnan. Unfortunately, it's just one state. Germany. No, I can't click this. We'll have to do it manually then. Quite a lot of clicking. And that's it. Everything is mine. Beautiful. And we should end it here, right? Well, no. No, we shouldn't. We should annex Russia. So let's do that too, shall we? So how much manpower do you have? Seven million. Um, I'm gonna take that. Also, let's return some territory to them. They're gonna have more manpower, so I can steal more manpower from them. Returning the territory will not affect their liberty desire or anything like that. Not liberty desire, independence. Whatever. And from seven million, you now have 14. You'll look a bit better than 38. Well, no. 14 won't look better than 38. But if we add the two together... Ah, see? Now we're talking. Let's wait for their independence to go down, and in the meantime, we will prepare a 
template. We just need to find Russia, which is not that easy because they're not in alphabetical order. Oh, it's just Russia, not French Russia. But yeah, it's easier to find. Let's find some infantry template. Mm, this will do. Copy that. Call it a Russian manpower. Oh, New Zealand wants. Um, yeah, sure. And South Africa. Why not? Australia. Sure. Russian manpower division. Okay, save that. And are we ready to annex them? Not yet. We need 300 political power. And for them to receive our convoys or to build even more stuff there. Did you receive my convoys yet? You have received my convoys. Wonderful. Now I just need some more political power and we can annex Russia now. So how are we going to do this? Well, first we want to drain their manpower, of course. There is quite a lot of it. 14 million. So we take this and flip it to the Russian template. It will surely be enough. See? And it's all drained. So now I click annex and Russia is mine. All of it. Once the game calculates it. There it is. French Empire. Looking nice. I could also annex the Raj, but it's gonna take too long. Oh, right. I should also disband these troops. We won't need them anymore. Let's see how our manpower numbers increase. I do like watching that. 42 million. How high will it go? Over 50. And there it is. 53 million. 53.8 million to be precise. And some territory. Okay. I think that's it. A bit overkill too. See, we don't really have to defeat all the countries to become the most powerful. That it's evident would win anyway. Oh, right, and our factories are growing quickly. Oh, that recalculated. So yeah, 50 million manpower, 1.6 thousand factories, and we own most of the world. Uh, the strongest independent country in existence right now is either Turkey or Mexico. So yeah, there really isn't anyone to challenge us in the world. How did you like that? I might have taken it a bit too far. I didn't need to conquer them all completely completely would have stopped after China or after the Soviet Union. But maybe you liked it that way. So let me know what you think in the comments and tell me if you would like to see the fascist path for France. But um, it would probably not be that much different. Oh, I was supposed to do disunite Germany. Nice! Kingdom of Saxony would happen. Württemberg, Mecklenburg, Schleswig-Holstein and Bavaria. They would all become my puppets. Huh, and Westphalia. That's, that's actually pretty cool. But we own it directly and that's even better. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.